All right, what's up, guys? So this is Devil's Advocate number 10. Uh, I, that's a milestone. I just yeah, had a milestone. Right? Uh, I've yeah. been loving these, you know, these podcasts I've been doing with my, you know, my friend here. Uh, it's been fun, entertaining, uh, great conversation. Also, um, uh, it gives us a time to like really put out our thoughts a little bit more clearly. Of course, we we will always go in deeper when we're still not as deep um, as let's say as I wanted to be, but. It just gives us more form to be having more constructive conversation, um, because I mean a lot of times, as in, you know, said that um, you know we I, I'm not thinking about I'm a role model, but I do want to be uh, if I'm going to be you know doing these podcasts, doing these um, YouTube stuff, I do want to be an example. Uh, I want to live by an example because I've always said that um, we should be. Uh, the best men should be the best version of the of themselves as they can be. I'm not saying that uh, you know you should be a six figure man because I don't think that's you know um, reality because most men can't. Being six figure is a rare breed. If you could be it, I'm happy for you, bro. I'm happy, but I mean, I think you just being the best version of whatever you can be, like you know. I'm going to have videos about like uh, investing because I believe all men should invest. All men should have a stock portfolio. Uh, that's, I, I believe that. Uh, all men should like be active. I'm not saying you need a six pack ab, you know, be jacked up, you know. But I, I do think that you should be active, you know, um, to a degree, wherever you feel like it's comfortable within your life. Uh, you should learn more. Uh, expand your mind, not be um, deluded about how the world works. Um, I think that's also a benefit. Um, and just whatever else, you know, to improve yourself, constantly improving yourself. Um, that's something I wanted to say. And I saw this quote today. Um, I'll probably share it quickly. That uh, it's kind of part of that, where I want us to promote more positive things for men because, again, I got to hold myself accountable. I can't seem like I'm just always bagging on women, but I'm not. My thing is not. That's why my. That's why I, I'm not trying to do right. I'm not trying to bag on women, but I'm doing things where you're informing men, giving men information, right? Uh, information about women, information about the world. You know how women are, how the world is. You know shit like that. Um, but there's also a flip side where this is the part where I also want to give um, my own two cents advice or whatever to help men to more. I sh I want to be contributing to, you know, improving men's um, actions. Right. You've said it in other stuff and past, past things about, you know, men's role models or um, what do we um, how do we representing men or how we. Um, you know, telling men about, I don't know, certain things, you know, because you, you've always said that, um, you know, you, about the space, right? Like Kevin Samuels or Fresh and Fit, you've always said that, um, you, you, you feel like, what is it? How about you, you, you tell me. Well, I mean, I, sometimes I'll talk about, uh, maybe like their delivery and whether or not they're not always what they say is wrong, but whether or not they go about presenting, that information in a way that helps men or empowers empowers them to make better decisions, or does it sometimes empower some of the worst characteristics in people? Um, sometimes your delivery matters, um, and you want to. I I would I would prefer to see us focus on delivering a message in in a way that that's helpful uh, for for men. That's encouraging. And empowering, you know what I mean. Um, but but that sort of gets people to take accountability for what they do. We talk about that a lot. Um, and then just you can only control what you can control. So make good decisions about what you can do. Um, not always based on what somebody else does. It's good to understand how someone else thinks or how they may act, so you can be prepared for it. But you got to think about what things you can control and how you can make the best out of that. 
And, you know, that's what I I hope we can do. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I want to, I mean, like, I'm all for, like, you know what? It matters what, I mean, what you say, not how you say it. But mm -hmm. what what goes along with that is that I want to also say things about, you know, what I believe men should be or what men can be. Not just like we're we're bagging on women or I'm bagging on women, you know. It's more like, like I was saying, you know, it's more about arming men with information. That's why I always say that, like, I get it. There are bad men out there, you know. We we're not here to change men. We're here to help push men that want to get better, push them to be better. Right? There are men that are just going to be bad. Right? I always say like. In this world, it's a reality. There's going to be good men, bad men, and, you know, a spectrum of in between. But there will also be men that, you know what, they want to improve. They want to expand their mind. They don't want to – they want to hear what's happening with other men. So, but one of the aspects that I'm talking about is that I want to help improve men. So here's a, a quote, right? It's a TikTok quote, but – it, it leads me to a story that I want to briefly say. Okay. Okay. Do not sleep with a woman who wants a relationship from you which you are not prepared to give. Taking advantage of a woman's affection is not a trait that a gentleman should portray. Do not sleep with a woman who wants a relationship from you which you are not prepared to give. Taking advantage of a woman's affection is not a trait that a gentleman should portray. Do not sleep with... You got that, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. So, uh, I do believe that women have killed chivalry. I do believe that, right? <laughs> okay. Women have kind of killed uh, being a gentleman, uh, being the nice guy, right? Women have killed that. But I do want to say that I want to change in a way that is not necessary. I mean, yeah, I think men should be gentlemen, but I think men should be more about um, having boundaries, principles, morals, and standards, right? Mm -hmm. And you should live by them. So let me say a, a story, a quick story, right? Um, okay. Is that I was, and it's a brief date, right? Just recent, right? I'm just, this, this woman I was dating just a couple times, right? I went out on a date. But I didn't kiss her or, you know, go beyond any of that stuff. It's just one date, two date, right? Mm -hmm. Pay for my date, whatever. You know, that's just how it is. But I also, pretty much after the second date, right, I told her, right, that because of my past, right, I've, I'm the type of man that I will take care. I'm a provider type, you know. I'm provider, protector. I'm kind of traditional. But okay. I also said that I'm, I've been hurt. If you seen my other videos, right? Please check it out. You know I have my some vlog style videos, which is name vlog under them too. I've been hurt, um, and it made me. It's made me cautious. Where, let's say this: I told her that I I do believe in marriage, but I I believe in marriage in the sense that one. I'd rather get married without paperwork, okay? It's just mm -hmm. this, the, the belief, the symbol, right? You can have a ring, you know, we live together, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's kind of what I believe in. But I also think that I understand that women love the paperwork. And it's kind of shady for my, for my uh, thought pattern because you learn all this crap. That's why I said arming men with knowledge, right? Okay. But I said to this, right? It is fine that a woman uh, wants the paperwork, but I said to her that, okay, but for me to do that, it will be on my time schedule in a sense that I need a woman to prove herself to me. I know what kind of man I am, right? I am, I've said to do, I want to, I want to promote this with men as well, that I do not, I do not like to face people. And let's say in the dating aspect, I do not like two-faced men. And I think it's been such a bad thing. And I understand, right? Men would do whatever they can to have sex. Fine. You do you. But I, I believe that a decent man should live by the principle that who you are, and this is what I live by, right? 
who you are at the beginning is who you are at the end. I am, I will show you the kind of, the, the person that I am, the man that I am at the first date, right? The first time we talk, first date, whatever, that's the person I will be at the end of our relationship, all right, when I'm dead, right? That's the person I will be. Maybe a little bit changes, but I mean, generally, who who you see is who you get. I'm yeah. not going to be a two-faced man where, oh, I'm going to be charming one minute, but then I, I got you, I have sex with you, I'm going to be abusive. No, what you got, what you see, what you, you know, is what you get. <clears throat> so I've said this, that the flip side is that I've been with enough women that you don't get that, right? A lot of mm-hmm. men, they don't get that from women. Because women, I would say that even, and I don't even think women even know it themselves because I've said it, women are controlled by their emotions. So they will flip, you know, there'll be one, they'll they'll be nice and sweet one way. They will be cutthroat the next. And maybe after that, they'll be nice and sweet and they will turn back to be cutthroat. And I've been there where I've, I've given the woman that I'm with the world Yes, she could still destroy me. So I've said to this girl that I like you, but, and I know that you want to get married and you want to get married quick. I mean, like I said, she was like 33. I mean, if you don't know about the, um, you know, within the space is like, once you hit in your thirties, you're, you're pretty much at the wall, you know, or things, you got to do things quick. <laughs> well, I get it. And this is another reason why men date younger, you know? So you don't have to deal with women that's on a time schedule, on a time crunch. They got to get things done quick, which is annoying. <laughs> she wanted to get married quick. She's on a quick time schedule. So I was like, I understand that. That's why I was like, I told her, I don't want to waste your time. And I didn't want to put emotions involved with it because, you know, you have sex with a woman. Well, now you have heavy amount of emotion in it. So I told her up front that I like you, right? And I didn't choose to have kiss or have sex or anything because... I didn't want any emotion, your emotion clouded where if you, I see, I, I can see a future, right? That you we get married, we could be whatever, have a family, but it will be on my time schedule. You, if you want marriage, well, that's something you, you will have to prove to me over time. And, you know, she didn't agree with it. And I said, that's fine. But that's the principle and that's a standard. I want to live by it, and I hope more men live by it. So you're not controlled by, you know, by sex, by, because you don't, like, I don't know when I'm going to find another date, right? But I don't want to be controlled by it. I don't want to be controlled because, and I was. For a lot of my younger years, I'm worried about, oh, when am I going to get another date? When am I going to get another girlfriend? When am I, now I'm at this age where, whatever, you know, I, my focus now and probably you will t- say it too. My focus now is like making money, building myself, and this, the YouTube, right? These are my focus. These are my my direction. My this is this is what I'm trying to put my effort in. A woman is only a plus right now for me. So, you know, I don't want to be a lot of men, they're controlled by, you know, the P. You know, they're controlled by women. You know, like, and and the desire to want women, and I've been there and I've done that. It's just that at, at a point where, when you're controlled and you're abused by it, you know, men need a different direction in life where you need to take control of it, where you need to live by your boundaries, live by your standards and principles. So that was just a quick story that I wanted to sh- share with men that you know what. We need to live by a certain example where I'm not thinking about, I want to use this woman just for sex, which I could have, right? She wanted it, right? She wanted to kiss. She wanted to have sex, but I didn't want to cloud that because I don't want to abuse this woman's time because I hope to know a lot. It's true. Women at a certain age. Well, I've said it. They're on a time crunch. So they need to you know, get married, have babies or find a partner or the rest of their life. And I agree. I'm not just saying that just to say it. I'm saying because I live by it. I think women are on a time crunch. So you should find the best man you can. Have a family, if possible, have marriage. I personally say, I've been thinking about, it's not necessarily marriage in a sense, but it's just a long-term commitment where 
I'm the type of man where I'm not saying that I'm going to marry you with a piece of paper, but I'm going to marry you where I'm going to be faithful. I'm committed to you. I'm not thinking about no other woman, no, none of that stuff. Because, again, I've been – I don't trust marriage system, right, the, the, the court system. So mm. that's something too. But that is also marriage and heart where I'm living by those vows even though I'm not signing that piece of paper. So what are your thoughts? Um, so I'm a hundred percent on board with, uh, recognizing your worth and what you can, what you can offer someone and what you're ready for. Uh, you don't have to, like, I see what you're saying. Like, you don't have to make your decisions based on what other people expect of you, um, where you think, um, someone your age should be in life or, or like we think it's the norm for, a a man to, just have a woman and have a family and at a certain time. And, and if you, if you get one woman, like, you know, seal the deal or else you're some kind of failure. That's not the case. You should find someone who's right for you. Um, which means you should be familiar with who you are and what it is you want or need in a relationship. And if the person you're sitting across from at a date, isn't that, then uh, agree to go separate ways because you can both find someone who's right for you. So yeah, you should think about what you want and what you need. And that may not even be uh, uh, another person in your life at this time. You know what I mean? So it's good to think about what other things make you happy. Like what are your personal goals? What things do you want to achieve? Whether it's related to money or, um, or whether it's related to money or career or, building yourself up in other ways, uh, mentally or emotionally, um, making certain personal achievements so that you're happy with who you are yourself. And then you can go find someone who, who matches, who matches what you need and you can give them and you're in the best position to give them what they need too. So yeah, self-improvement and, and being alone, if that's what it takes is, is cool. Do what makes you happy and, take the time that it takes to figure that out because it's worse if you, if you get yourself in a long-term commitment and it's not what's right for you. And then you spend your time unhappy um, because you need to do what men are supposed to do. Have a, be with a woman, have a family, you know, whatever. Like if you're not ready for that, um, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. You're doing the person you're with a disservice. So, yeah, and I just want to say that that's true. And I also say that um, you got to be upfront, right, with how you view your life. Like I was saying that, like, I want I want to be in a relationship, right? I want to be in a relationship right now. But you got to view how your relationship, right, what type of relationship you want to be in. I, like I said, right, I the type of marriage I want is really no papers. You know, I'm not going to, I'm right now, I don't want to sign a paper. And I told her, right? But if I do sign a paper, it will be after years of, I mean, sadly, her proving herself to me. It's just how it is. So that's the thing where men need to be upfront. Men need to be uh, more, stand by their boundaries, stand by their standards and preferences and their principles. I did not, and we shouldn't and be upfront. Like I, I've said one of the things that let's say fresh and fit, which I we will um, in a few minutes we'll we're gonna really watch it a, a long clip or a long video and have a reaction to it. But fresh and fit says that you know, let's say high value men, they they have options, so they do, you know, um have sex with other women, right? But one thing they also say is that but you have to be upfront with it. You know, tell the woman that you're with that I don't want to be with just one woman, right? And this is the type of relationship where I be, where I will take care of you, but I do want to be with other women as well. Whatever, fine. But that, but you gotta do it at the beginning of the relationship. Be upfront. Be an honest man. You know, that's not cheating when you tell them how it is in the beginning, and it's up to the woman's choice. Right, if that's what she wants to follow. So, like I said, where I I'm not planning anytime soon for a you know government contracted marriage. Okay, 
So if she is fine with that, she will accept it. And if she's also fine with, like, if, if I'm going to do that, well, you have to prove yourself over time where I can trust you, where I'm not going to be scared of the, you know, the, the, the whatever, the bad shit. <laughs> One of the things she said to me, right, mm -hmm. is that she, if we broke up, she wants, she doesn't want to have nothing. Ooh, I was like, well, okay, that's, that's yeah. not, not, well, you're telling me something. You're telling me like <laughs> what your mindset is. Yeah. So that, that's, you know, that's definitely not making me, you know, jump the gun to marry you, sign, and, you know, conjure. Because, I mean, my family is not like, we're not wealthy, but we are, do we do well. Uh, I'm not wealthy, but I'm trying to do well. So, you know, I don't, no woman's building with me. You know, you think about this, like I said, uh, on our past thing, right? Just like with you, you're, no, right now, no woman is with you building your life. So if you eventually become an amazing author, which my boy is on his track to be, uh, oh, you know, like yeah. So if you if that if that path happens for you, and then a woman comes in and then wants to marry you, it's like mm, we have to be smart about it. And I hope the future you will be be smart about it too. Where I'm, I'm not going to rush into it. A woman has to prove herself to me. At least in the sense that if she wants marriage, relationship, we're both proving, you know, we're both providing, both, um, you know, doing the best we can. But, I mean, marriage is a different step because, sadly, it's a one-way street. And um, in the U.S. and, you know, Western society where a woman benefits from it, men do not. Men benefits from a relationship because... Having one woman constantly, that, that's a great thing for men. But a marriage is different, right? Marriage is now you're contracted, you're you you are you know legally contracted to this woman where if it fails somehow, well, you owe her money, which is ridiculous. But that that'll be on the future thing. I'm just saying that when it comes to marriage, women must prove yourself to you, right? I, I'm gonna say that. That's my own I mean, I've not heard any, you know. Other men say that, but I'm going to try to say it where if you think about marriage, well, your woman had to prove herself that she's worthy, that she deserves this high, high level, crazy ass risk, you know, that you're taking. That's why I hope men will understand that. So any, any last thoughts? No, man, I'm, I'm right with you. Uh, yeah, stick by your, your standards and your principles. Um, don't jump for the first thing that comes along if it's not right for you. Uh, you want to be happy and you want to, if you, like you said, if you've built a life, you want to find someone who you can trust to share it with. So. All right, let's just get started. Let's get started. Okay. Now, this is... A recent fresh and fit, um, I guess, a live event. Uh, I'm I've skipped, uh, I guess, forty minutes of it already. I mean, if you guys want to see that part, check it out. I'm just I skipped toward maybe more of um, the the heavier conversations, which you know, uh, this is why I want you know. Addison has always said that like that he's there's certain things that you know, um, you know, the fresh and fit crew that they are or said that he doesn't necessarily agree with. So I'm hoping that this will give him more of a, a good vehicle to, you know, debate with. Okay. So let's, let's start it. I think uh, in a podcast, everybody can share their opinion. And if you don't like it, you can request. But That's it. isn't it fair that an opinion can still be incorrect? Depends. Who is the owner of the truth? You are the owner of the truth? No, but the thing Nobody is, that, is the owner of the truth. It's his podcast. It's, so. Here's the thing. If, if if I say something that's true or someone else says something that's true, it doesn't mean that I own the truth. It's just that I'm reporting the truth. The truth always stands. But opinions don't necessarily always stand unless it is the truth. Could you hear it? Opinions are opinions. I hear. Opinions can be incorrect. Uh, 
Yeah. And I think that's the problem is that so many women think that their opinions are valid regardless of how ludicrous they might sound. But we don't tell women that you're wrong because we want to fuck them. That's the truth. You know what I mean? Like, women don't get negative feedback for being wrong or for poor actions, poor decisions. Rarely if ever, you know, because we have an entire industry that's predicated on selling to women. So advertisers understand this. It's better to give women comforting lies versus harsh truths. That's how they sell. That's why women control three quarters of the debt and 80% of the consumer base. Or that's why there's plus size women on Sports Illustrated. I just said it. Yes, I did. Yeah. For example, well, no, look at the ratio. for example, when I was in your podcast, I say that for me it's really important in a man that be a spiritual and you you funny about me in your podcast, you know? If for you, if this is not important for me, it's important and you don't respect. Being a spiritual. That's why that's why I say you have to respect other opinions. Because if for you a high value man don't need to be a spiritual, for me a high value man. Can you explain what you mean by spiritual? In the in the I'm podcast, so... in the podcast, you say you funny about me because my answer. That's why I say I don't like it because you don't respect another opinion. Is that me or John? I think you're taking take um, talking about John. Yeah, but it's context because, for example, it's just spiritual, but the end of the bill is ultimately he gets have some money. Yeah, least. what do you mean by spiritual? We're talking like airy signs and stuff. So a good habit, meditation, we have to like time, you know. And when I were talking about that, for you, this is not a high value man. I told you, for you, high value man is only to have a good position, a good job, or a good money, or a company, you know? But for me, two things are very important. But for you, this is incorrect, you know? That's well, why I only say women I get the like privilege. It. Only women get the privilege of, you know, prioritizing spirituality in the hierarchy of being successful because you guys aren't judged on what you create. You can say some bullshit like, I'm an Aries. Or I'm a Gemini and use that to excuse poor behavior. If I'm a bum and I say I'm an Aquarius, they're gonna laugh at me and I'm not gonna be taken seriously. That's, right. That's the truth. That's like true. men, yeah. men don't have the same ability to be delusional that women can. Women have the privilege of saying I'm spiritual. Like as a man, if you say you're spiritual, that's cool. Assuming you're somebody first, so you gotta live in reality, then choose like to go Russell into that realm. Cool. What do you think so far? Um, and he made kind of two statements, right? I don't know if you want to talk about the no, first. Huh? Well, wait, go ahead. What, 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 the first one. What was the first one? His first statement about... um, Shoot. About opinion versus fact? Yeah. So, so like, there... Or is that women are... Women are allowed, right? Like, no, no. Opinion versus fact, but women are allowed to live in the delusion where because no one's going to correct them because generally men want to, you know, have sex with you. So they're not gonna say that you're wrong. Just like I'm not I'm not singling out, but I mean look, we did a video with one of your friends. I mean about I mean kind of, not about, but it's kind of like we we um I reacted to one of your friends' uh comments mm -hmm. where I think people should have called her out, you know, but we I'm not saying other people wouldn't fuck her, but I mean it's a mindset, right? Where men just naturally not calling out women or holding them responsible for the things they say or do because technically we it's not like we i'm not saying in general not all men want to have sex but they, they hold back because it's symbolic right you want to stay on, good, on a woman's good side because yeah they want yeah exactly they want to stay on a woman's good side uh -huh. that, that, that's what i'm saying where we want to stay on a woman's good side because that's just how society is we we are trained right taught at a young age to treat women like princesses well you do not see mm -hmm. that are we're not seeing women treated at a young age to treat men like kings or princes so but what do you think it's interesting so uh, i might require some some more i'm i might need some more time to think about this but <laughs> <laughs> but um i mean i i see so she makes the point that the, the lady, the lady on the mic, makes the point that um, if I like you think one way about what a man should be, what a high value man is, but I value different things in a man, and if you don't agree with me, then you don't respect my opinion, or you just call me wrong. That's what she said, and he said, "Well, 
he, I guess he made the point that you have the luxury of having that opinion because nobody's telling you you're wrong. I, is that, is that, am I like, correct me if I, if I'm not getting it right. Like, well, okay. It's, it's kind of like, let's say this, right. He's more thinking about like, you got to think, let's say she dates a spiritual man, but he's mm -hmm. broke. She wouldn't even care. So this is the thing where women are allowed to say, let's say this, I want a man that's, um, I don't know, uh, good with kids, right? Mm -hmm. But what if he was broke and he was great with kids? Well, they wouldn't even give him a time of day. Women are allowed to because it's automatic, right? They will automatic, as she said, high value man. Well, because like you're already aiming for men that are, you know, top percent men. And then you just want a little, a little bit extra, which is like you're being ridiculous where you're you are allowed these things because men will like fake it, right? Men will not hold you up to your crazy delusion than one of these, you know, men that has extra qualities to them because those men will have one have sex with you. This is the thing where women are allowed to women are allowed whatever they say because men just don't hold them up to it. So so two things and I'm this kind of goes back to the the quote you played at the beginning of the show, right? One, if if you're letting a woman just say whatever she wants because you want a chance at her, then, well, and we just talked about this. That's on the guy, right? He's doing himself a disservice, one, right? Because, because well, the, the, the quote at the beginning said you shouldn't take advantage of a woman's feelings just so you keep be intimate with her if you're not ready to give her what she's asking for. That's, that was one. And and we talked about more from the, the, the guy side, you shouldn't, you should make, you should hold to your standards. So you shouldn't just settle for whatever comes along, right? So if a woman has opinions that you don't agree with, then or, or, or wants a certain thing from you that that you don't want to give her, um, we talk about being honest. Men should be honest. An honest man will say, well, I disagree or I don't think the same way you do and I don't think this is going to work out. Um, you can go separate ways and she can find somebody, you know, better for her and the same for you. Uh, so yeah, being honest and upfront um, is something all people should do, especially a man. So if, if, a, if a, you know, maybe, maybe women get away with a lot because people want to get in there <laughs> Getting their draws, but uh, a smart man shouldn't, shouldn't think that way. I, you know, that's why I said I do agree that, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, why the, and exactly why I said the stuff I said in the beginning, you know, at the beginning of the show, is that I kind of want to change men, male's perspective, right? Me, how men, or at least just nudge it, right? Because I'm, I'm nobody, my name says it all, I'm no one special, right? I'm nothing special. But I'm hoping that you know the few men that I may affect or may um, be able to speak to, I'm hoping that they will see something different. Where yeah, don't be controlled by you know your your man down below, where you are not sticking to your principles and boundaries. Because one, you are doing yourself a disservice, and two, you're doing the woman a disservice. Because I think that's what. Like I've said before, what's killing chivalry, what's killing gentlemen, what's what's killing nice guys, all that stuff is women like this, where she's allowed to be delusional. So she's allowed to live in her world. And her world will, you know, she will look down other type of men where I don't think you should men should allow that. Where if we are upfront with women, we're not we'll we'll show women that you know what. That's reality. You you want a man that makes a million dollars and be spiritual? You're you're delusional. Now, no. now, here, well, now here's the other thing. There's an in between. We, there's a there's a middle point that maybe they both miss. She says she values someone spiritual. She didn't say someone broke. He said, yeah, but if he's spiritual and broke, you're not going to take a second look at him. But. That doesn't mean that her opinion about spirituality is wrong. She might want someone who can be a provider, but that doesn't mean he needs to be a six-figure man. 
Like she may mm -hmm. be happy with someone who is middle class and capable of making good decisions and also spiritual because if he's, so if he's rich, right? If he's got all the money, but no spirituality, right? Like, like if he's not interested in, in, um, and, and religion or a higher power or, or, or focusing on, on mental and emotional health, then he's not of value to her. Even if he's got a lot of money, he's like, what do you want from me? I'm bringing home the money, but she's not going to be happy with someone who doesn't pay attention to those other things. So it, 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 it seems like a fair opinion to me. Like she might value that spirituality more than the money. That doesn't mean in the absence of someone capable of providing. It just means that she wants a man who, as part of his role as head or, or of the household, will provide enough for them to, to live but also take care of her mental and emotional needs. As First of all, giving her I, all the money she wants, I, but not paying attention to that. I'll say this, right? One, there's no such thing as a perfect man. This is just how it is, right? Yeah. Two is that you be, I hope that as time goes on, I will show you that even the average woman wants a six-figure man, okay? Even the average woman. Woman you see walking, walking around the street, We'll still want a six figure one, a six yeah, figure but, man. But even the so, average guy wants a, a a model. But no, but see, see the difference is right. You mean men know it that they may want it, but they don't make it a, a requirement because, like, let's say this. Hell, I would want a um, I don't know, a Doja Cat. But am I thinking I'm going to get her? No. <laughs> well, do I make that like? Do I say that? Oh, that's my my standard or my preference or my no. I men don't say oh. I want a model. No, they don't. They would love to be with a model, but they don't. They, they don't. Men don't put that in their requirements. Women do. Women literally say, "I want men that makes or ambitious." I'm telling you, these are side languages where I want a man that's ambitious. I want a man that's entrepreneur. I want a man that even blankly, blatantly say six figure because there are words that pretty much show you that they want a man that makes a lot of money. And if you saw this, if you we will look again. This type of woman, she wants a man that makes money. So, and add on that like, you want a man that's spiritual and stuff like that. Well, this is the thing where, like we're saying, right? It's fine that you want who you want, but it's also not fine that you are deluded in how the world works. Because men will lie to you. It's I feel like it's better to be honest with someone saying, like, oh, great, you want that? Good. But know that you want stuff like that. You will probably end up alone. That's it. Because, like, you, you want perfection. You want a man to have everything. You want a man to be a millionaire, to be fit, to be six foot tall, to have, you know, a big D and be <laughs> spiritual. Well, you know what? You, women are always asking for Superman, uh, Superman, and then also Wood Clark, too. It's like you have to have everything. That's the problem, right? And this is one thing where they said, we are allowing women to live in their delusions, but I don't know. I said, well, let's what? And all right. So this last thing I'll say on it. I want to see her say that in the video. <sighs> That's, women would not. Yeah, that. But here's the point I'm making. Like she didn't say that. She didn't say any of that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying that you're wrong about there being women who think that way, but she didn't say any of that. All she said was, I value spirituality in a man. She didn't yeah, but, say anything else. She didn't set any other parameters. So the rest is an assumption. But it's, okay, it's not like, okay, you got to think of this, right? A lot of times it's, I would say it's a logical assumption because you got to look at the type of woman, okay? And you got to look at the type, like, look at the, you see the words she say, but you got to dig in deeper. She also said high value man. So really, that type of man already makes a high amount of money. She is not like, I'm not saying that she's ugly or anything, but she's a woman that's like trying to be, we'll look more. We'll look at more, but she looks like a woman that's not going to go for just an average man that works at UPS. Okay. So that's something that you, we, I admit, right? That's the thing where we, as you go along, you got to see where you got to. And I do um, these. You got to check it out, bro. 
I do these videos called uh, it's a Kendra G, right? She does um, you know, uh, singles, right? Where average women are calling in, you know, uh, I guess advertising themselves, you know, for single for other single people. Um, you gotta break down, right? The the their results, uh, the things they say, how they look, um, things they're not saying, you know. It's like you're breaking these things down, and I've I've gotten that kind of skill, like where I'm I'm pretty good at it. You know, where, you know I'm, I'm you gotta read between the lines. You gotta really because it's you gotta see it's results, right? The type of results you think, you know. I'll say this: like I think she is uh, in her thirties. So really, I say women that's in her thirties, late thirties, not you know wifed up already. There's red flags. So. I mean, we can always go in deeper more, but yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, because he makes money, he's spiritual. The point is, is that you got to live in reality first and then decide if you want to go the spiritual world. As a woman, you don't have to. You can just be in the spiritual world all the time and use horoscopes and all this other stuff. But for me, the men can have too. But for example, you are a successful. You're missing a big point, though. You are a, you are a successful guy with your company or your business. I don't know what to do. But <laughs> you're on the show. You know, you know, he's you're on example. the show. He's example. I don't want yeah. to disrespect you. This is example. Myron, what are you doing? What, are you doing? <laughs> what, are you doing? what is it that you do exactly? Yeah. Okay. Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven. Everybody hold hands real quick. I don't even got to sometimes. <laughs> the spirits are with us. Yeah. Everybody hold hands. It's all good. Have, let's but, get back to let's get back to my question. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go. And then you said harmful. Why harmful? I don't think that you guys' reality is the real reality outside, out of this Miami city and the podcast itself. What well, specifically? I don't, I don't think that the advice that you guys are giving is, or some advice is good. Some advice. That's this part, I think you will probably get a kick out of, right? Because, you know, uh, she's married to a very in, intelligent but very vocal man, where I think it rubs off on her, where he's very against the whole. You know these men movement. So, okay. you know. all right. Like getting your shit together, like getting a job, working hard, working out. Those things are great, but when it comes to relationship advice, I don't agree. Okay, what do you yeah. disagree with I specifically? Agree. What I disagree with specifically, um, I don't think that trying to build up men by very very shallow things like getting money or um, having that car or having. This sort of image. But you just said a second ago that emotions. building yourself up is good. Yeah, it is for yourself, but not for just attracting other people out there. Because in that case, if, if let's say that you lose all those things, there's just no way that your partner in that case is going to stay with you. She should be with you for you and your interest. And Melina, your if you you're married to Destiny, shout out to Destiny. If Destiny was broke and three hundred pounds, would you be in love with him? I would be in love with him. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. I mean, well, you could say that, Stop. but I mean, it's, I'm being Stop. honest. No. No, I'm not saying I'm not saying yeah. that if he lost his money now and something happened to him now you'd stick by your man. Respect, yes. right? Yeah. I'm because saying I love if you met things, Destiny, that's not the shallow things, and that's why I think you guys Destiny, should. I think you guys should question, try to build up people in that way. <laughs> yeah. If you met Destiny and he was 300 pounds and he had zero subscribers on YouTube, he's like, ah, I'm gonna be a gamer. You would have not given him a second chance. Of course I would. I like him for his okay. intelligence. That's the things that I love him for. So does yeah. intelligence pay the bills? Intelligence and his heart? Yeah, the drill. <laughs> That's what I the it's not your money. So if you're homeless and you have no car and no house, nothing to feed the kids, I don't know if you have any. Why do you want to go to like, like the most extreme example? Because I'm telling you that. Extreme. Wait, are, you, are you going to argue for like though. what I'm attracted to? I'm not, okay, I'm not attracted to people that have cars and money. That's not what I'm attracted to. Because people like you who are only attracted to those things, you would ditch your guy right away. My guy wish you would. But why in that case? Yeah, but why the fuck are you arguing and saying that I would leave in that case you're the same when as When they look for men that have resources that can be present, but I can't why don't protect. you just told me that you didn't that you're not right? I am that's not only darling. Yo, so you're gonna tell me how I feel? Okay, I, I understand <laughs> where you're coming from saying you're saying like the cars and the money, whatever. Cool. That might not be as attractive to you, but it's important.
important, right, for okay. the guy to have it. I've to always, have stability and like yeah, because within the, you. The, yes, I do the, agree with those. The things. thing that women never want to admit is that, and I've, I've said this a million times. You know, all girls are gold diggers. Some are just a bit better at hiding the shot. I want what I mean This is probably women, something right, you want to. Is you got the girl that says, "I want ambition or I want drive," blah blah blah, which is code term for the ability to procure resources for a later time for me. Or there's some girls that are overt about it. I want to. I got a big shovel. I need a guy that's a millionaire, etc., because I make money or I I deserve it. So yes, you can sit here and say I like it for him, but the thing is, this women typically just end at ten, but they don't go one, two, three, four, five. The man has to count one, two, three, four, five because he's not going to get to ten and even be seen unless he has certain prerequisites. Only women are loved under the condition that they provide no value. Men must provide value. I don't, that's just how it is. I think that's how it is in Miami, yes. And like oh, cities oh, like this. Okay. I not just Miami. Okay. Okay. okay, you know what? I let's probably go with lived that. in more countries let's, let's than most with that. of you guys. So, so Miami, I, I have a lot of, yeah. So sure. here in Miami, it's celebrated to have a big shovel and be overt about it, okay? <laughs> Maybe I go to Nebraska, whatever, if they have small shovels, but it does not change the fact that women still I want to take that's true. I that can provide like resources. Dating, but in their area, job. Okay, how about this? Cool. Lived all ladies, over the world. ladies, real quick. Shit everywhere. How important is it for your man to actually not only just be financially stable, to be successful and have money? Go ahead. Uh, for me, it's important. Do not go on a diatribe. Just give the answer, please. <laughs> it's important, how important, but how you say is not the only thing that attracts me. Okay. You know? So, but the key here yeah. is that they're not even going to give him a chance. There's yeah. plenty of smart, cool, homeless guys out there. No homeless. So it's no like homeless, but no, no, have to be all the way this way or all the way that way. That. Okay. You'll date a normal guy? Yeah. Besides, yeah. five foot eight. Yeah, 50, he's a normal guy. Thirty-seven to fifty kilograms. Like you. Like you. How and about I this? What, any of you ladies? Wait. So you'll date a guy that makes less money than you? Say it again. You'll date a guy that makes less money than you and has lower status. Than you. We are the same. No, no. Okay. No. Would any of you ladies date a guy who makes six? Let's. Uh, I want to get your point. Do you want to continue or you want? to Get your point in. I don't want you to forget. Anything. Well, I, I, all right, I'll just say this real quick because I don't know what's about to come. But like, you will you answer me this? Are the people on that stage right now lower class, upper class, or middle class? The men are upper class. Okay. The men makes well over a million. Okay. The women, uh, they make most of the women on their party makes uh, close to six figure. Or okay. at six figure, or maybe a little bit more than six figure. Okay, all right. right. There's not. I don't. I want to say that. I'm not saying that all of them, but I think the majority of them make um, above average, at least, right? Let's say above average. Okay. Uh, the average for a man is fifty. The medium, right? The medium average for a man is fifty k a year. Mm -hmm. I would say most of the women here at least makes more than that. Okay. Uh, probably even closer to six figure. So. Yeah. So so we're looking at people who are at least upper middle class to upper class, right? The majority of people in the world mm -hmm. are middle class to lower class. So they're they're both they're not having a realistic discussion. And 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 here's what I mean by that. Like every time so I get the I get the the woman's point who was talking. She was saying, "Well, because we're the same way. There's a number of things I'm going to want in a woman, right? And I may give a level of priority to each of those things. If every every time every time the girl said, "Hey, I like I like this quality and that quality in a man more than I like cars and money." The response is, yeah, but if he were homeless and broke, you wouldn't want anything to do with him. Well, you're swinging from one end to the other. There's a middle. You see what I'm saying? Like, no, it doesn't make any sense for her to want a, 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 a fat, lazy, homeless, broke person because, because he's funny. But she may take someone, she may be happy with someone who makes five figures instead of six figures because... That person make five figures also has mental and emotional wherewithal to take care of other things she's she needs or has other things she's attracted to. You see what I'm saying? So he can provide not as much as the other guy, but he also provides in other areas another guy doesn't. See, yeah, okay. Ignoring that whole middle. No, no, no. Middle I, okay, there. 
I mean, I've said before, you got to understand, they're being sensationalized because it's you know, entertainment. I would have said, you know what, what I would have said? Do you want a man that works at McDonald's? I mean, he makes a living, right? He's a, I think that's low, low five figures, right? It's not like four figures. It's low five figures. Would you date a man that works at McDonald's? Most women will say no. Okay. Even let's say he was, he proved he'd be a perfect dad. He he proves that he'd be loyal. He, he never cheated. He's very moral. He's very upstanding. Uh, he's spiritual. He could be spiritual. Uh, he could be funny. All that stuff. I would have said, if uh, of course I'm not him. I'm not Myron. But I would have said, yeah, I would have said broke and homeless because that's just no one wants to do that. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. So it, it is. It's hyperboling, but yeah, that's what they do. But the thing is, I would have said, which would have made more sense. Would you want a man that works at McDonald's, a man that works at CVS, a man that works, let's say a mailman? Literally, right? We did a video of a woman who's around these women's, uh, I guess, tax bracket. Mm -hmm. about a bus driver that she Remember puts down that. a bus driver, right? So this is the problem where these women, right, because of where they're standing, they would not think long-term of a long-term relationship with a man that makes lower than them. They wouldn't because they don't find the value in it. I would have said, yeah, would you date a bus driver? All of them would have said no, right? Would you or would you marry a bus driver? They would say no. Would you be uh, an ob obedient, submissive, traditional wife to a bus driver? None of them would have said. None of them would have said yes. They wouldn't. So, and, but they would. But on the flip side, uh -huh. that they would, if they could do that to a man that's of higher value, of you know higher, a higher tax bracket, they probably would. But they would let's say the, the woman that the blonde haired girl that said right she can say what she wants and this is probably goes back to what we're what we're talking about the first what what when the first time when Ma, what Myron says right the delusion she's literally dating a man that's like he's real really he's our look right he he's average looking like us mm -hmm. so looks wise he's a gamer geek okay but he is a millionaire he makes a lot of money so it's hard for anyone to say that, oh, yeah, you would have dated a live in your base, live in your mother's basement uh, gamer boy, you know, if with the exact same intelligence level, same personality or all that stuff, but just none of that money. It's hard for any man to say, because really, there are men out there that's like that with absolutely no girl knocking on their door. So really, it's hard for her to stand on that um, hilltop, you know, when she's dating a man when and she already got with that man after she already married that man after he made his millions. So really, it's like this is what I'm saying. Like you, women, it's hard for to um, women to st stand on any, uh, I guess, moral hill when they get with men after they become successful already, because you cannot. T I mean, I mean. Worst case scenario that he becomes broke. Who knows what a woman would do? I, I'll give it 50 50 that she will leave or stay because you don't know. You haven't been through those hardships to say that, okay, if he becomes destitute, would I stay with him? I mean, divorce rates are high as shit for a reason. Plus, it's crazy high that women are filing for a reason. So, in general, women have not proven that. And finances have always been one of the major reasons, one of the at least two major reasons for divorces. So really, I, I, I and again, this is what I said before, where you said that, oh, did she say that? Did she say, did she, but you, you get, you got to get, you got to read deeper, right? You, I read like what I said about the divorce rates, women filing higher, uh, her getting with a man that's already built himself. These are the things that where you, um, I guess you go Sherlock Holmes on it, where you... Take all these information, and then you could build a logical assumption. Yeah, of course, it's not nothing uh, concrete fact, but I mean, it's a logical assumption where women don't, you know, uh, counter because they really they, they don't counter logically. I guess 
they count her emotion just like you know the her name is Melina, right? The blonde hair girl. She could say that, oh yeah, I love this guy for his intelligence. I would, you know, I love him. I, I would have been with him if he was broke. Well, you didn't get with him when he broke. So it's like it's hard. I mean, I'm not saying that she's lying, right? But it's a logical assumption that you don't we don't know. But we do know is that you got with him when he's a millionaire already. Okay. And I'll, I hope you know, right? She has a relationship with the, the guy, Destiny. It's an open relationship. She has sex with other men. So, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I know you don't know her, right? right. But this is the thing where we build assumptions by the relationship. She's not 100% faithful to the man. So it's like, these are things where, I'm, you know, the guy Myron, he knows these kind of things where that's why he's building these logical assumptions. Women... Women are not going to say outright. They're not going to say shit outright. So you just, you know, build, you take all these little clues, these all these little, uh, you know, things, and then you build a logical narrative. So. so I got a couple, but I got a couple of, all right, so, so first, we talked about how much money they all make in that video, right? They all are, right? Now, if you like forget the relationship part, we're friends. We're 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 not we're not broke. We're not working menial jobs. We take care of ourselves, right? If you and I are about the same age, if I worked at McDonald's, not as a manager, but as like the the clerk up front, right? Wouldn't judge anybody for having a job. Working is is working. You. you mm -hmm. Do honest work, you do honest work. But do you think you would encourage me to try and get a better job and move out of my parents' basement? I would. Right. Because that's a good thing to do. Like, like if you're a 40-year-old man in America and you only have a job at McDonald's, you have to think about why you're in that situation. There might be a legitimate reason, or it could be because you're not trying hard enough. That's a possibility, right? So I get that. Most men, though, are like you and me. We work stable jobs that we can take care of ourselves, right? Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's, it's, it's harder. But that's where we live, right? And so do most women. So, so if a uh, if I made, they're not asking on the flip side. Like if I made, uh, if I made a lot of money, or if I if I make the money I make now, I'm, I'm a middle class man, right? Like a, a a cool sixty grand. Let's just call it that. If all I do is is bring money to the table, but I don't have other, I've built myself up money wise, but. Personality wise, I'm 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 kind of a jerk. I'm not and I'm not abusive or anything, but I'm not attentive. Um, I don't like to talk very much. Uh, I'm I'm not interested in anything if it if it's not about my credit card. Am I somebody who's going to attract a good woman? I mean, there are women that want money. But I'm a, a good woman. Yeah, probably not. Well, probably not. Probably not. Right. And I'm I'm not going to attract any of them because I don't make enough. But somebody more my level is going to want more than just my money. She's probably making the same thing or close to it, right? So in that case, money isn't the most important thing. But I, I, and, all I keep... and all I'm saying is there's a balance in there that they keep skipping. The men and some of the women, too. And she's saying it. Even, even if her situation is not as... If, even if her situation is what you told me it was, she's still saying, listen... There are other qualities a man should have. So if I'm watching Fresh and Fit and they're talking about how I need to build myself up to be a high value man and no woman's going to look at me and I do that, but I have not developed those other qualities that make me attractive to a woman. See, but I, I think you missed, uh, let's say this, right? You missed uh, the key factor, right? He said it, right? There are men out there that are, they're, Great character, they're moral. They don't cheat. Um, you know, whatever they have, they're, they're they're good, decent men, right? They work hard. 
But why are they not with no one? Why is no one chasing after them? Why no one want to be with them? Because what Myron always say is that if you don't even have the, let's say, let, let's just say if you don't have the money, women are not even going to give you a chance. That's the thing where, no, no, let's no, say no. this, if like you could be the exact same person, you have all these, let's say your qualities are off the chart, you know, all these untangible qualities, right? Like how, you know, you are, like I said, all these qualities, your moral, your character, your religious, whatever, all these things are amazing. But again, your life is working at McDonald's. They're not going to, they don't even look at your way. But yeah, if you if you upgrade yourself to a better position, also I'm and the then no one ever say that you should be a jerk. Okay. But it says that this is the thing where women are not gonna even look your way until they see um the I don't know, the 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 monetary benefits first. Then they're gonna okay, of course. This is the thing where we forget, right? And I will say it. What will attract a woman. It's of course the money, but what I keep with a woman, well, okay, it will be the other stuff, and that that's 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 what the thing is like. Let's say the girl with who who's married, you know, the Molina girl with Destiny. Yeah, what attracts her is the money, but what keep her is, you know, the man himself. But that's the thing where where women, men will say that like, okay, well, if he didn't even have the money, she wouldn't have been attracted to him, and that's well, what they were saying too that you wouldn't even given this man. A chance if he wasn't a millionaire already, and but that's I'm the thing we're saying. Because I don't think that's entirely true. Like maybe, mm -hmm. maybe in their situation, but they're well, all they're all. I would, I would say this. I would say this. It's I think it's true. Even let's take out the, these two people, right? Her and her husband. I think that's true, regardless of the woman. Even average women, they wouldn't even look your way if you didn't. Let's say because you gotta think. Why do women say, "Oh, how you dress"? Um, the car you wear, the car you drive, all these things, right? These monetary factors, right? Uh, maybe the chain you wear, maybe the haircut you have, things that your look is kind of a symbol of your value, you know, the, the money you make. Because you can tell a man, let's say, that works at McDonald's, and let's maybe a man that works at maybe a, a better place is like the UPS, something like that. We could tell levels of men. Right? Why do you think like that also matters? Because it's also kind of falls into the monetary category where if a man has them enough money, well, he can invest in himself too. So that's the thing where these are all things that people don't see that that's still a show of value. So here's my so here's my and this will be I won't say much more than this, but if I meet a girl, if if I meet a girl at a bar, right, and um and I'm dressed well, and I buy her a drink, and I engage her in good conversation. I've got her attention. But she doesn't know how much money I make, right? Right? So, but because I'm able to talk to her, right, like a, like a human being, like, I've got her attention. I've got her attention. And we can go from there. Almost anything's possible. What I'm saying is they can talk how they talk, but... If I buy into it and start to believe that I've got to build myself up monetarily, 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 I've got to make myself a high value six figure man. And I neglect the other stuff because according to their conversation, what I'm getting from their conversation is that the other stuff isn't really important. The women are saying it's important, but it's not really important. But if I but if I a middle some middle class dude, some regular dude buy into that and fail to build myself up in all the other ways that aren't financial, I might, I'm, I might not succeed. Right. And I'll just be a, a I'll, I'll just be, I'll be a guy who makes a good living, but I'm kind of a jerk. Or I might be a six figure jerk, but you're giving people an excuse to be a jerk. Cause you're saying, this is how you build yourself up. And you're not including the part where it's what about mentally, emotionally, what about spiritually? What about, being able to have a conversation with a, a woman. Do you do you read enough to talk about subjects other than sports, right? Uh, you know, do you do you speak do you do you speak intelligently? Do you have good manners? Yeah, you you know what I mean? Like there are all these other ways to build yourself up as a man that I think just get ignored in their conversation because they don't have to think about that, but we have to think about that. And I oh. think there are places where we live in reality 
that value those things. That's all I'm saying. No, I'm not saying okay, I get it, right? Let, I want let's take it back down to an average man thing. Uh we have to think about it in the sense that you're right. I mean, there are more you have to build yourself because like I said in the in the start, that there's more I want to improve men in more more than just one aspect, but you have to think at the end of the day, I think it's a hundred percent true. No woman will look your way if you're not financially well, I'm not saying no woman because okay, there, there's two things, right? You can we're not broke. We're just we're no, not rich. Yeah, that's true, true. I true. You, but, but you're displaying the the capability to take care of yourself and, and another person. You make sound enough financial decisions where you could where a woman could say, yeah, I could trust him to support me because he's got it together. He's got a car and a place, right? That's, that's, you but know. You gotta, but you got to think, right, where they say, okay, like, men like this, right? And I'm, I do agree with this one thing where the higher value you are, the more doors open. So okay. let's say if you and me, you and me, even you, right? Mm -hmm. If we become millionaires tomorrow, the options are different. Oh, then right, there right. are today. It opens right? It, right. But I, but I'm saying like it doesn't necessarily because I I do believe in that money doesn't necessarily make the man right in the sense that you are who you are. Let's say tomorrow you become a millionaire. Well, you will still be Addison, but just be a millionaire person. It only makes you who you. Like, I've I agree before. Let's say if you were a jerk of a person, if you are abusive, you are a terrible man, and tomorrow you become a millionaire. Well, you're just gonna be a, a, a terrible person yeah, being yeah, a millionaire. Yeah. It, it's but that's just the but that's the thing where that's the point where it only money only open doors for you. And this is the thing where at let's say at our level, well, we have less doors open to us. So the woman that we handle, because like 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 I said, I was dating one girl. You know, that's at my level. But let's say this if I was a millionaire, well, I'll probably be dating dozens of women. And it's just who I am is who I am, but it only opens more doors for you. So it, that's the thing where we have to understand that the money is what opens the door for you. So what, like, like kind of thing where I said it attracts the women, but however you are is how you are. So that's, again, yeah, they're not saying other ways of improvement, but we, we not it shouldn't dig in more deep into it because it's, it's, the root of the thing is that it only opens doors. It's what attracts women initially, because women wouldn't give you a chance if you didn't have that money. So even at our level, we're average men. Well, let's if we decrease our finances even more, right? Less women would want to be with us, even if even if we were even if even though we may have a great personality, we're we're moral, we're principled, we're we're I don't know loyal, monogamous people. Well, so. Women were like, okay, you, you don't have a car, you don't have a house, you don't have, you know, even though you're so you're so great, it's the thing, it only opens doors. It only, it um, it brings the women's eyes to you. Everything else is what you do subsequently. Okay. And they do say other stuff like that. And I won't. And and we can get back to the video. Yeah. I will say this though: they're playing guys at McDonald's who have girlfriends, and. I see a lot of guys just like us, friends of mine, even who see who who are who are like, man, all these bitches care about is money, and they use that as the reason why they don't have any women. When it's like, well, you know, maybe you can work on some other things that might get you a girl, like not being disrespectful all the time. But I would say this, right? I would say this, right? Maybe work on that. You know, not excuse to. No, but I would say this, right? There are the things that you gotta understand that yes. There are men at McDonald's that have girlfriends, but you got to think there are some women that will build with you, that will be at your start, right? When you started at McDonald's, right, they will be there for you. Mm -hmm. But there's not, I don't think there, there, there are that many women like that. I personally don't think that. There's a lot of women that hope, hoping or looking for you in the middle or at the end of your building stage. I think there's more like that. Yes, of course, there's women that will be there at the beginning, you know, but I think that's far and far, you know, like, they're not that many. But you got to think that Jeff Bezos 
had a wife too. He had a wife that was there at when he was his lowest. Well, where is she now? You know, divorce them and become one of the richest women around because of that. So it's like, yeah, there are women like that, but we can't forget how women are. And I believe, like, there's other ways to attract women, of course. But that's, but, that's all I'm saying because yeah, a, but, guy, a, a, a guy on our level shouldn't use not having more money as an excuse because there's, there's, I, yeah, there's still options. No, so, I'm, yeah, I'm not saying that. Yeah, I definitely want to say that's an excuse for whatever. I was saying that that it's like, think of money as always a, a door opener. That's my my always thing. But yeah, let's continue. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Significantly less than you. No. Yeah, no. You would. No, I have. You would not. No. Really tall, would you? Hold on. Would you? <laughs> no. Would you? I, as long as he can protect and provide and so I can support him, then... How's he providing if he makes less than you? However, with that, typically to protect and provide, you need to make a certain amount. Okay. Correct. Janelle, would you? I mean, I have, like I said, but he was 6'8 with a huge dick, and so there's an exception. <laughs> right. I mean, but... No, you know what? But to first saying that, right? What oh, we were yeah. talking about before where, yeah... There's other ways to attract women. We have friends that are charming, right? Friends that are funny, friends that get girls. But it's like, at the end of the day, um, you know, it's only about the options you get, right? Although you're charming, you know, there, there are men that are charming, right? They're, they're mad charming, but it's about how much options you get. I mean, that, this is it. There's a lot of ways to go about getting a woman, right? I, I, I agree yeah. with you. I'm saying I'm talk I'm talking about the guys on the show. And I'm oh. saying that when I hear them speak, if I weren't who I was, I'd be like, Yeah, you're right. These bitches only care about money. I was saying I'd be like, roll my eyes at girls and and when I could be building myself up in ways where I can find a woman great for me at the level I'm at. But you got but you also think, right? But, I would say this, you gotta think that. There's many ways to get a woman, but one of the ways that will benefit you in more than one way is actually having money. So really, let's say that you, if you become a high value man, well, that money doesn't just doesn't just benefit the woman that you be with. It benefits you. Well, yeah. So really, yeah, it benefits you and the lifestyle that you you know could have. So really, it's it's one way to get a girl or to whatever to get girls, but and it's not the only way, but. It is one of the ways that, well, it's logical where it benefits you as well in more ways than one. You know, you let's say this, a man that's charming, charming and funny, like we have plenty of friends like that. Well, it really only benefits them one way and it's to get in the girl's pants. So really it's like it doesn't benefit them really in other aspects of life necessarily. So, you know. If, if, it's, if it's sincere... It might have more to do with maintaining a long-term relationship than your money. I mean, it happened, right? Like I could make three hundred thousand a year, and after I'm with the woman who I love, my I get in a horrible accident and break my legs, and I don't make three hundred thousand a year anymore. And if we are friend, if we are really friends, if we have a connection, if she loves me for more than just my money, that relationship can last. Well, you know what? Just if we, I mean, I don't know how long we're going to go, but okay. if well, we go, ahead. I think we'll talk about that. Okay. And you also got to remember no disrespect, she's a little bit older. So you, when, yes. you're, when you're older as a woman, you have to make concessions on what options. you're demanding. Yeah. You can't demand as much as you get older, yeah. unfortunately, for women. So I get what you're saying. You're saying not all women are like that, blah, blah, blah. But the reality is all women are attracted to more status, more money, more strength. So so you're saying, for example, destiny, not the fame, not the cars. It's the identity of who he is as a man. But would you admit as well that to get to that level, you need to work on yourself as a man. So it's his identity that you love, right? You get to work on it as a man. 
or like the chemistry we have, the intelligence that he has, the passion, the humor, all of those things. Not like how much money he's making. I don't care about that. But those yeah, things, yeah, I feel but, like but it does play a part though. And hard work. That's what I was gonna say. There's a difference between a guy who was like became a millionaire from inheriting it, or maybe he was just like a rich boy versus someone who worked for it. Because those character traits they needed to exemplify in order to get that is someone who's a real man. Like that's why that is attractive. Also, I want to say that it's I, I can't stand I can't stand this the blonde haired girl because I told you right where she's literally in an open marriage with her husband. Yeah. So I, I personally would like I would per, like to be honest. I guess I mean they know the guy, so they, they're probably not bringing her personal life into it. Mm -hmm. But I would have said like straight up. Are you kidding me? You're literally an open marriage with this man that you are so in love with. That this man is so amazing. Yet you are having sex with other men. I cannot I cannot fathom how you can love someone. How you can say all these things that I would be with this man even when he didn't have money. But I will still have sex with other men. It's like, really? I mean, come on. You The... the 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 mo the um mental gymnastic you're going through it's like really it's, it's ridiculous but when she says hey we live in miami and essentially we're all rich and this isn't reality for everyone she is making a good point no i mean i'm gonna say i, I said that yeah i mean like there's certain yeah i definitely i, I agree that certain cities are just like they're different than other cities but i'm saying that like you, you you don't have a moral hill to die on, then, right? You you, you, you don't. Okay. That's yeah, okay. I, I hear you. I hear you. But I, I hear you. I don't think her point is wrong. That's all I'm saying. But I but I hear you. It's, it's Apply to her. I would say to her is it's, it's different. I get you. <laughs> so ultimately, he became the man that you love because he had to go through hardships and became successful over time. So those are character traits that you said earlier. Success. It's like. I would say the success of his passions. You're missing like the, the things point. that he. Yeah, but at some point, if you lived in his parents' basement, I don't care how smart he is, you're not going to accept that. Yeah, but in that. that case, you clearly have like a problem that you're not like you're in that case depressed or something. You don't have a drive in your life. Like you're not Correct. doing anything. So yeah. that would be unattractive. But it doesn't mean that someone. Um, it doesn't mean that you need to make millions. Like it doesn't mean that at all. Okay. Just like if you I mean, the reality is you left the guy that you were with before, in your life, then or it's destiny, great. because destiny like... had more status, you had more clout. If we're gonna be all the way a thousand, like, this, is, this is what I mean. This is what I mean when see women say like, and I need I need the audience to really like understand this, right? Like, besides like looking at the girls and be like, oh my god, blah blah blah. I think men need to really really understand and drill this in their head. That women are going to say things that are politically correct to kind of massage you and or conceal. Not, is there anything I could say? Well, I was talking to. Yeah, like my point is this: like women are going to say certain things, but they're going to do opposite things because if women were honest about the way that they actually make select, it would be very bad and make them look very poor and like terrible people. Because women typically do monkey brands to better guys, and your own mating practices have proven what I'm saying: that you went to a better guy. That you had, and you did it overtly on a camera. Let's be honest here. If we're going to be a thousand, so there's, there's absolutely nothing that I could say to change your mind but, to believe what I but, actually. Well, what I'm saying is that destiny was able to take you from that male because he was better in not some regard. Not because of his money, or, and not because of or his success. He had more potential. Remember, I said the whole shovel thing. Maybe he had a smaller shovel at that point, or you had a smaller shovel at that point. But you saw the potential, and you're like, you know what? I can invest with this guy. That's not how I felt at all, though. Okay. It's just one, but then but that's what I'm saying, like. Here's the women, right? And feminists do it too. Right? Do it too. Where they say something, but they live differently. Like I said, he, I mean, to be honest, while he's like really bring out the, the, the truth bomb on her, he should say, you literally in an open marriage. Okay. How you, um, and he said, I don't know the, the detail of it, but if it's true that she literally within the relationship she was already in, left it immediately for this other guy where she married really come on it's like this is what i'm saying like did you leave a man that was not smart not you know whatever all these qualities that you say you love well i, I would say this most women they date the qualities that they they long-term date the man with qualities that they already do like 
So I believe, I would say that the last man had similar qualities to her, the current man. It's just that the current man is better in all these other qualities, right? Like I said, if you and I mean, uh, like the money thing, it only opens doors for us if we had money. So if they're like, if, let's say even between me and you, we may be so similar, right? But if you had the money, so why wouldn't a girl who would date me, love me for my personality and all that stuff, but you are similar to me in practically every way, but it's just that you have more money. Why wouldn't she see that, okay, wow, this man is exactly what I love in personality because I'm already with a man that's like it, but he's a whole lot more rich. Why wouldn't I choose this man? I mean, it's just, this is the thing where he's saying monkey branching, where she's going to one man to the next man. Really, is that's what I'm saying. Like, women like this are terrible at, you know, being a, I don't know, high mighty moral women because you can't. You, it's that's why I said before. Where it's about the results of your life, the things you've done in your life. Well, you can't. You you say things differently, but your results speak different. Okay. We'll agree to disagree. All right, so Myra, huh. well, we're just getting this. They say one thing, but they yeah. do another. I mean, you so Myra, tell me over and over again how I feel. I'm telling you the truth. Do you want to believe it or not? No, I'm going off your actions about how you feel because yeah. feelings change, but the actions are there. Uh, that's, so, come on. that's what I'm saying. Come on. So, Wait, yeah. Question for you. Yeah. Does destiny fulfill you? Yeah, of course. So then, oh, 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 so then uh, why is it open? Because we like to fuck around. It's, so he doesn't know. I like I like women. Actually, he bitch. doesn't have a pussy. Sadly, he's not a woman. What the fuck? He's very so He's not a woman, and I they like have an open relationship. Yeah. Your, your husband okay. and yourself. It's one hundred percent. You can open. try to put on your insecurities out there. That's fine, but I mean, we're talking about him. Oh right? shit! It's crazy because he doesn't say the same about you, though. But you attack him like that. Why? I mean, open relationships is. Are you, your women not enough for you, or because you have, you have a one-sided open relationship, right? Usually, when women get defensive, because you said right, away, right? You never do the same. that you left him for him, yeah, and that's it, yeah. But if you did, why well, go somewhere else? Get a fresh. Well, why do you fuck other women? <laughs> no, no, because I want to, but you, you're not, you yeah, said, because I want to. No, you said earlier. Does that mean that you don't love your partner? You, Does that mean so you don't you're, love your partner? You're satisfied, right? Does that mean that you don't love your partner because you go fucking other people? For you, yeah. No, for you. I'm asking oh, for you. Me, for you. Yeah, I'm just saying. Because you said you're from Philadelphia. You said you're from Philadelphia. You same logic. And I'm confused. Do you understand that? I definitely do. Yeah. Why do women yeah, always have a double do. standard? I don't know. How is it the double standard when I have an open relationship? He also has an open relationship. So I don't understand. We're just pointing like the fucking Spider Man. And real quick, it's like, yes, maybe, maybe open relationships are unproductive for most of society, but we can't deny that individualism exists. And there are certain people who are happy in their certain setup, and maybe that has nothing to do with anyone else. It's just like you're happy. No, probably not. But that doesn't, that still exists. We can't deny that that doesn't exist, and it's like impossible. You know what I mean? So no one can really speak on Melina and Destiny's relationship except them. Ultra. I mean, we can, because she came I mean, you can make your assertion. So I'm not a fan of like a, a open relationship type. Uh, they, they're yeah, they, they're on automatic failure of a and relationship. Never, but I will say like, all right, that's upper class stuff, right? Um, if, if if it were like if it were like, she left her man for him, and then convinced him to have an open relationship because it's what I, she I, wanted. I, I, yeah, I don't okay, know. Okay, maybe you you might have a point. If she got with him and right at the beginning, because we were talking about people being honest with each other, they were like, I want, he was like, I want to be in an open relationship. And she was like, so do I. Hey, we're perfect for each other because we like to go smash. I, I do. I mean, I they, really they, do want to know. They, who they who, each other. who they, brought that up? I really, I mean, like, but they would not do that. None of them would say that because it will destroy their image, right? It will destroy this. The, if you see the other guy, right? He's uh, very... He's kind of blue pill, but he's very he's intellectual and he he tried to destroy he destroys people like this, right? Like the Fresh and Fred Cruz. He he argues against them, he debates. Them. I mean, he's friendly with them, right? But he debates against them. He he really destroys the try to destroy their arguments. Yeah. So it will destroy his image if the woman that he's choosing to be with, right, married, is the one who convinced him into an open ma marriage. Yeah. It will destroy his image, his credibility. Absolutely. Right. 
right? It would destroy him completely because then it shows you that you are so low of a man that you had to be in a relationship where this woman convinced you to be an open marriage where she can have sex with other men. I, I, I and I'm a, he's a, I'm, I, and I know you're not into men, me neither, but like, do you think he's a relatively attractive guy? No. No. Absolutely not. I mean, I'm telling you, right? How we look, mm -hmm. he's on the same level, exact same level as our I mean, I as our look. Hard. Like, I'm, a, I'm a bad man. Well, dad. whatever you think, whatever you look at, whatever you think you look at, <laughs> he'd be the same level. It's, it's, it's exactly that. I, I don't have I don't have a low confidence really, but mm -hmm. I'm I know I'm not no you know Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I guess I guess I might give him so, money. I mean you gotta catch me on my my good side. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, same the man is same level as us. No, okay. so really, yeah, and looks right. no. It's, 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 I guess it's an interesting discussion. We don't. You're right. We don't know. But I'm. I really but, wish. I really wish to know. I would really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if the answer were that they both wanted the same, they both genuinely wanted the same thing, then they fulfill each other in that in, in that way. You see what I'm saying? Because they. Yeah, I mean, but I don't know. Because I don't know. Yeah, we don't know, but I'm oh God. But I'm saying this, right? With how many stories I hear, I, I I hear a lot of stories. It's generally the woman asking for an open marriage. Um, really? There are men that do it. I'm not saying there's not, okay. but in general, the, uh, the amount of stories I hear, it is the women asking for an open marriage, because and and I say it's a logical guess, right? It's a logical assumption because. I've seen um, articles, right, saying that women get women are more bored of long-term monogamous relationships. They get bored quicker than men. Men are more men are easily satisfied. Really, I mean, come on. Like, I think I, I know most men they will love it. And like, just just give me sex once a week, and I'm good. I'm good to go. <laughs> right? There, no, there's not that many men asking. Let me do it like every day. No. <laughs> So really, I mean, that's why with one woman is good enough. Just, just do, just do me every once, you know, every week. <laughs> right, right, right. You I'm know, good. Good. men are not, and men are not asking for. Oh, that's that's always, and this is true, right? Men are not always asking to spice things up. They're not asking. Oh, let's do things differently. Let's like this, this, that, because men don't, men don't get that bored easily, right? Mm -hmm. Or they're very. I think men are more habitual. Right, they could do the same thing over and over again. They don't care. So I don't know. Uh, next question for Myron. So if you guys did not know, trigger warning. Myron wrote a little book. Uh, book yeah, you'll love this book. It's called what? Why women deserve less. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that really? He really wrote that? Hopefully, these guys can all get their copies signed. Absolutely. But the book is called. Why women deserve less, okay? <laughs> the question, the book title almost writes the question. So why do women deserve less? Well, we, we live in a world nowadays where chivalry is punished. And I've always said, you know, Dave Chappelle famously said chivalry is dead and women killed it. And the thing is, is that women have to earn chivalry nowadays versus just expecting it because women are not equal to men. And chivalry in itself practices inequality. So... What I tell guys is I'm not telling you to treat women poorly or treat them like subhuman or something like that. What I am saying is that in the romantic pursuit of women, it needs to be reciprocal. The That's problem right. is that a lot of guys go into a relationship, deal with a woman, and there's not reciprocated value. They're the one for, ones pursuing. They're the ones right. investing, and the girl isn't investing. It needs to be where she's investing. If anything, I argue women need to invest more, more in the man than they invest the other way. Right. Yeah. But That's why I wrote the book because so many guys don't understand this concept that you can't date like it's 1951 anymore. You need to date like it's 2023. What's your initial thoughts? And I say that I, what I was saying that I agree with it, right? Is that, and I said it before, women are lazy when it comes to dating. They're lazy. They don't put in the same amount of effort as men. They don't. I said it in our, please check out our other podcast. They put in effort to, I mean, like go up to you. Uh, Ask you out, ask for your number, um, plan a date, pay for a date, try to be interesting on a date. The ones who ask you questions, try to get to know you, uh, trying to, it's just, 
constant things where they're always trying to romance you, got planned for the next date, trying to romance you more. And what we just did it, we recently did our last, I think it was our last episode. A woman thinking that okay, he he didn't double text me. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, that was why. <laughs> so you know, but uh tell me what so your, your thoughts. First, I think it's hilarious that he wrote that book. I didn't know he wrote that book. I didn't know that I'm getting, getting it. I thought that was just the book that was in the meme that Future's reading on the uh subway. You ever see that meme? Is future and he's sitting on the subway and he's got a book in his hand. It says why women deserve less. And I just thought it was a joke. I didn't know he actually wrote that book. So that's <laughs> that's Wait, you said future had it? Yeah, yeah. It's a oh shit. Let me see that meme. That's why I was laughing so hard. I was like, yo, that's a real book. <laughs> oh shit. This boy, this boy is like this boy yeah. made a book that's future's reading. Yeah, well, I and and I well, when I saw the meme, I thought somebody had just made the meme, right? You know, oh, I don't know could be, he could had be. That book in his hand. Who could? But I didn't know it was a real book either. I just yeah. thought it was a joke about future. But, but anyway, all right. So he wrote that book. The point that he just made in that last part of the clip that we watched makes sense. Yes, if you if you want to date somebody, like you want it to be reciprocal. Right. I, I, I've already said like a, a good relationship, I think, works when both partners are carrying what whatever they're carrying. That relationship is as close to 50 50 as possible. You've got an actual relationship, a friendship that, you know, so it doesn't start if one person's doing all the work and the other person isn't. They must not be interested. I'd, I'd walk away from that, too. So I don't think he's wrong there. So I don't. I don't know that, but that is hilarious. Why women? Do that? <laughs> I, I, I think I'm kidding you for that. For uh, <laughs> I just shouldn't you know something on my birthday. I could get you that for your birthday, right? <laughs> would've, that would have been fantastic. Oh my goodness! All right. <laughs> So, so Walt, I know that you were you were sort of the ghostwriter of the book. <laughs> Everybody knows it was all Walt. Yeah, that's funny. So, Fresh, when, when Myron came to you with this title, Why Women Deserve Less, what were your thoughts when he's like, I got it? Of course I'm going to say, bro, are you serious? But at the same time, I get what he's doing. The title is very triggering, of course, but the message inside made me hear it. Because once again, men, when they meet a woman for the first time, they go, who gaga, love bomb, and go crazy, right? But ultimately... Does a woman really want them? And is it showing the same value that she's giving back to him? For the most so, part, no. So I'm going to make a bold statement here, guys. And, and, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that women in general, we like how they look. Yeah. Pretty women, like, guys like pretty women. This is no secret. Yeah. Clap it up for the women on the panel. Yeah. All right, they all look good. Okay. So guys like pretty women. That's not a, that's yeah. not a secret. Like, that's, I think, the, the tale is old as time. Guys like pretty woman. You've actually said that uh, a woman's primary value is 100% tied to their looks. Absolutely. I believe we have. A, I believe we have a clip here. If you're ugly and rich as a woman, no one cares. Yeah. <laughs> Oprah. <laughs> Oprah. Yeah, yeah. I would rather be with a broke, beautiful girl than an ugly, rich girl any day of the week. Black. So, Nat, let's play this clip, and we'll have, I'll have a conversation on the other side. This is Myron spitting some hard truth to women. Uh oh. Uh -oh. The daytime shows, so you already know what time it is. <laughs> the women want to accept it or not, they know deep down that their value is 1,000% derived from the way they look. I'm going to say that one more time for you guys, all right? Because I know I might have some feminists or some other career women that might, that's not true, baby, that's not true. Okay. <laughs> Women's value is 100% determined by the way that they look, okay? That is their primary agency. Everything else comes after, okay? So... Women know deep down that their looks define their value. There's a reason why they take care of what, you know, they, they wear makeup, they wear their hair down, whatever it is, they wear sexy dresses when they go out, whatever it is, and why the makeup industry, regardless of how bad the economy is doing, never goes down. Also, hair salons, nail salons, uh, clothing stores, etc. There's a reason why women are 80% of the consumer base and they spend a lot of their expendable income on making themselves look better. Why? Because they know that their value is determined by the way they look, whether women want to accept okay. it or not. Cool. Thank you. So, uh, fully agree. I would say that my 
favorite two things about a woman are their outer beauty and inner beauty, yeah. right? Because we all know we live in Miami where there's a lot of pretty girls models out here, beautiful on the outside, disgusting on the inside. Yeah. I can't deal with that. Maybe when I was 16, 18, 21, that was acceptable to me. Now at this phase of my life, if you're ugly on the inside, Frank Castle, that ass. So, uh, <laughs> uh, man, like, I can only respect you when you're willing to kick him out. Yes. Uh, after looks, what would you say are the most important qualities a woman must have? She must be. Let's uh, let's get your view on at least that part. If what do you agree? Or what are your thoughts about it? I just don't even know what to say. <laughs> I, I can't put. Let's not be, you know, PC about it. I 100% agree. And I can say this, right? I think I think that's been a detriment to men, in my personal opinion, where, yeah, I'm not, let's not lie about it. Looks is 100% a woman's number one, you know, let's make a list about it, the number one value. To but that's been what? a detriment for men. Yeah, but that, so, so, but that's, what? okay. No, I hear you. You're right. You're right. It's, 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 it's I mean, it's kind of it's our fault, though, right? Like that's what I'm saying. I I, I do agree, right? I'm not gonna. We're not gonna sugarcoat it. Where one, yes, that is a woman's number one trait. Then the first thing you see, you know, whatever. And no, I mean, any woman that says not is a lie. She's lying. But that's also on the flip side. The, the other side of the coin is that that has been a detriment to men, where men, you know. Empires have fallen over beautiful women, right? Men's have been men's lives have been destroyed because of beautiful women. Um, that's the thing where I see that uh, a thing where I don't know where I'm trying. Where, but I can say this, right? I've been my life has been destroyed by ugly women too. So really, it's it's hard for me to like. I don't know. I, I tried to do something different, but that women are sometimes women just women, but. I'm hoping in general, where if I don't focus on a woman's looks, but more of her character, that would be better. But I mean, I'm I'm saying I hope, hope I'm I, I'm going on a path where I hope that in general that is more true than not. But my results have kind of said otherwise. But I'm still trying to go down that route and test it out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But let's see his other point. Coachable, and what I mean by that is she's got to be willing to. He he said, "Woman is coachable." Is the next uh, best trait. Coachable. She has. Wow. Okay. All right. Shut up and take orders. Right. She's got to be <laughs> like, by your side at all times. And I always say, like, the best girlfriend is damn near your assistant. You know, she makes your life easier. If you're operating at ninety-eight percent, she gives you that extra two to three percent to get that extra percentile to go to a hundred, hundred one. Like. That's what a girl does. She stands behind you and helps you out and makes you better. Because as you grow as a man and you become better, she directly benefits from that. When it's the other way around, she looks for a better man. That's why I always argue women can't be in leadership roles. Because when she's in a leadership role, she's going to look to other men. Because women aren't natural born leaders. So that's what it is. She's got to be coachable. Once, uh, once she meets the attraction threshold, right, um, then from that point forward, she's got to be coachable. Because from there you mold her and make her a better woman. I know, oh my God, misogyny. But the reality is women want a guy that's dominant that's going to make her the best woman she could be for him. So, from I, I actually, I think that it's not coachable. I think that the woman is willing to do it without being coached. So, I'm okay coachable. I'm going to ask you. Know, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, a man doesn't what, A woman will say things, but what, I want to know your view more than the women on the panels. You can probably listen to them a little bit later, but... I want to know your thoughts on it. Oh, man. Because, like, I, I, again, I, I did this thing because I wanted, because you said before, you want to have clips to show what you actually disagree with, you know, the fits and uh, the Fresh and Fit crew with. Well, these are their talking points. So I can't entirely disagree. I can't entirely disagree with what he's saying. He does not make it easy to agree with him, though. He's like he, he does it. He's like he's it's because like, you are so you are so like dag, bro. Like <laughs> there's a level of partnership to it. All humans are individuals who have some 
autonomy, free will. We all have it, whatever our agenda, right? So, like, if a, I agree that in, I found it true that a lot of women want a man who can make good decisions, right? We talk about that all the time, right? Um, they're willing to follow the, follow the lead of a man who they find responsible. And maybe like, and I think that a large part of this discussion about a man having money and being a high value man, I think what it really does boil down to is women want a man who is capable of taking care of them. It doesn't mean you won't be in situations where, where the roles might have to be reversed for a while, or they doesn't mean that they're, they're the best they're going to be. Right when you meet them, they're the best they're ever going to be. It just means that if I guess if you if if a woman sees a man and he's he's well off, he looks like he knows how to dress, like he's got money. It shows that he's he's responsible. Um, and a woman will be happy to be in a relationship. I believe a woman would be happy to be in a relationship with a responsible man who can make good decisions, and she would want to follow his lead. Now, he takes it a little further. He says once the roles are reversed, she's going to look elsewhere. <sighs> I mean, I, I, man, I don't know. It's, that's, that's, it's very interesting because he says the next trait that she needs to have is coachability. Like she just needs to become what I want to make her. Is that what that means? Or well, It's more like what, let's say this, what? I guess this is probably the part where you may find controversial where, yeah, what, what fit for you, right? What fits for you? Because, uh, okay, I'm trying to be tough. I'm not trying to be so, because I know you're going to really have an <laughs> issue with it. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just that certain women have bad habits that, you know, may not do well for you. One of the things he always says that, you know, following you, being with you, is like, let's say a woman that goes out to partying, you know, do parties, go, do girl trips, shit like that, that might not be a good thing in a man, you know, in a, let's say a man that's a traditional man's eyes, that, that's not a good thing, right? Or also like, you know, domestic, a domestic partner, right? Women that cooks, cleans, take care of the household, those are things that you want a woman to be moldable into, you know, you want to turn a <clears throat> I don't know, a modern woman into a traditional woman, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's more like you got like, again, this is a certain dynamic of a relationship, right? This is a leadership relationship where a man leads, a woman follows. So at the end of the day, if you're the leader, as bad as it may sound, if you have a bad subordinate, well, that, that's not good productive. You can't do good productive leadership when you're always fighting with your you know, someone who's that you're trying to lead. Right. So right. this is where you mold the person to fit you. But like he's also said that you as the leader, as you get better, you are only benefiting the woman. Right. So it's like it's kind of like a double edged sword in a good way where, yeah, she's he's trying to mold her to fit him, fit his liking. But it the results are trying to be it's only good for her if. This is what she wants, right? If women, this is the thing where I also think that women don't understand types of relationship. If you want a man that's a leader, well, I don't know many leadership type men would follow would want a woman that's like disobedient, uh, that fights with him on everything, that's really like hard to deal with. It, it, women have to know, understand. Oh, I want this alpha man. I want this leadership man. I want this big strong. Well, there are there are certain qualities that goes along with it. Um, that's what I'm saying where, okay, you want this leadership man. Well, he wants you to follow his lead. What he says goes, but hopefully, right. If he's a good man, he also takes your feelings to account, but that's also the type of man you may get. You have to look for the type of man like that, where what you said in other stuff, where a good leader is just more than not just, you know, directing a woman. It's like all the other morals, all the other characters they may have. Which is the thing where women have to be more, they have to be better at evaluating men. Okay, so I, so I, so I agree with you. Um, 
yeah, like I would want a woman who's willing to follow my lead uh, and who isn't going to fight me on everything. She have her own, might she have her own opinions about something or suggest something else? Might she sometimes even be right about that, right? That's, 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 I think that's a relationship that's working well. So, so yeah. Um, it's hard to swallow when he delivers it, though, right? <laughs> I think, you know, to be honest, I think I like the bluntness. Okay. Being more blunt is better. All right. Cool. You know? Cool. But, no, no. Cool. <laughs> And you see, that's why I'm like, you're probably feeling what these women are feeling because yeah. these words, like coachable, submissive, all these stuff, they that's trigger it. people. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it, it, it starts like sometimes. Yeah. It's like, I'm willing to do it because we're a team. So I feel like it's not just coachable, well, it's just willing to help the guys. Are, are you a mind reader, though? Huh? Are you a mind reader? A Miami girl? No, I'm not a Miami girl. Are you, are you can, a mind reader? Can you, can you, read, mind? Can you read someone's mind? Know. So wouldn't it be fair to say that the man has to tell you what he needs so that yes. you understand? No, yes. but it's willing to help. And whatever you you are doing. Like you have a business, hey, do you need help with something? Okay. Yeah. I think the word's just trusting you. And you said it's me, and it seems like there's a coach. It's just you. Right. Just no, bring no, up the no. definition of coachable. It'll be sold. <laughs> We're fine. It's just helping each other, though. Yeah, you, the, the point is, is that he has to tell you what to do so you know, because Correct. obviously you're not a mind reader. I, and I argue this. If the woman doesn't know or she doesn't have the proper guidance, that's the man's fault. Right. It's, not the, it's not the woman's fault. Okay. As a leader, you take the responsibility and you bear the brunt of it, but you need someone coachable if you're going to go ahead and take the responsibility for your authority. Okay, yeah. I, I understand your perspective. Go ahead. Um, well, maybe we can say that she takes initiative. Yes. That's that's cool. Yeah, yeah right. she can take exactly. initiative, but at the end of the way, orders is kind of a lot. You know, you can, you can make it inspire. <laughs> inspire. Here, there's gonna be certain times though where I'm gonna need to tell you something, and I don't have to explain myself. And I think women need to be able to take orders from a man. Hey, I need you to do this. Hey, do this. Blah blah blah. And okay. the thing with women is that a lot of the times. They're more concerned with how information is conveyed versus the information being conveyed. If, I, if we're at a location, right, and I see something popping off that might put us in danger, I'm not going to sit there and be like, let me inspire you <laughs> to be safe. Yeah. I'm going to say, get the fuck out of here right now. Some shit's going down. Get out of here, right? But that's important because with when you know in times of danger or whatever, you need to be able to communicate directly. I'm not going to sit here and coddle your feelings and be like, hey, I, you know, I think something's going on here. Let me inspire you to, like, you know, duck because I think they're going to start shooting or whatever. Like, just get the fuck out of here. Leave. Like, and I'm not going to explain myself. That's a waste of time. So women need to be able to take direct and concise orders sometimes from their men. But again, but I'm going to put a burden out performance on the men. He needs to be in a position where she respects him and she's able to so do cool. things without asking questions. When your girl's asking you questions, that's a very telltale sign that she's not sure of your leadership qualities. Let me ask you a follow-up question on this. So, um... This has to do with dealing with men versus dealing with women. So we run value around here. Anytime that I want to go tell some of the guys, hey, I uh, need you to do this. Hey, uh, listen, it's raining out. We're going to need some towels. We're going to need some uh, umbrellas. Hey, uh, gonna... for the most part, the guy's like, all right, on it. Now, sometimes when I talk to women, this is whether it's a value whether it's any place else, I'm like, hey, I need you to do this. They will say things like, can you talk nicer to me when you when you do this? Yeah, yeah. Can you uh, can yeah. you say that a little bit nicer? I didn't like yeah. the way you made me feel. So me, as a leader, as someone that's trying to steer the ship, yeah. I have to be cognizant of like, oh fuck, time for me to talk to the girl. Let me be nicer, yeah. and and then you know approach it a different way, which comes foreign to me. Like it's not like like I wish I could be like, hey baby girl, clean that up. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, all right, keep it moving. I wish I could do that way, but I've realized that the way that I can speak to men is different than I, how I speak to women. And that's just, I mean, the ladies on the panel are sort of nodding. So how do you distinguish that? Meaning like, we're 100% on the same page. It's raining outside. Go get some fucking umbrellas. I don't need to be like, so it'd be really nice of you if you could get an umbrella. <laughs> like, I don't want to have to do that, but I find myself having to do it. So how do you deal with that when you're, whether it's business, 
personal relationships. Like, how do you, you understand that? Well, Obviously, the workplace is going to be different yeah. than a, a, an intimate relationship, right? But I mean, there's some things that overlap and some things that don't. With your girl, you don't explain yourself. Hey, this is what it is. There's no, I don't negotiate with women. I don't negotiate with terrorists. This is what it is. <laughs> so your, your relationship is separate than work. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, there's some things that overlap, but in general, like, you don't sit there and negotiate with your girl because that implies that you guys are equal. And you are Wait, not. can I ask a question? I'm really curious. Whew. So, you go on a date with a girl and she asks you, what kind of marriage do you want with someone in the future? How do you pitch that? Like, how do you pitch your marriage to look like? Is that what you say to them? I think I'm about to go to the next topic. Is there anything you thinking about? Like, you know, you want to touch about what he just, everything that he just been said? Completely threw me, like, all the way off guard. So, so to me, I don't know the name of the, the gentleman who looks like the, he's the host. He's got the gentleman. Adam. His name's Adam. Adam, okay. Adam, Adam says, and I understand what he's saying. Hey, I can talk to the guys one way at work. If I talk to the girls that way, they're not going to respond the same. I get that. I, I experienced it. I, 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 you, you, I. But just don't you, I mean, what's your thoughts on that? I, I think that's terrible. It's there. We are, we aren't the same, right? Men and women aren't exactly the same. Yeah. Right? But they want to be treated the same. Well, hold on. There's a difference between being equal and being the same. That's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? Like, like you could be like, a, it's as important to have a, it, it may be as important to have a star center on your team as a star point guard. They're, they're equally as important, but they do different things. That, that's 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 how it's taught. So 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 it does it doesn't it doesn't mean that that she's not a capable woman. It just means she's different. That's all. So so yeah, you might form your order in the form of a question. I expected Myron to say that he's more he's more willing to do that in his relationship than at work. Because at work, professionals, even professional women, I work with a bunch of them, know that your boss tells you to do something, you got to do it. And I'm not saying that in certain relationships it shouldn't be that way, but I would figure that you'd be more willing to be to coddle to her emotions if she were your girlfriend. <laughs> and he was like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I tell you to do something, you do it. So, this is what I oh, mean. Do, do you, I mean, do you? I, mean, I want to dig deeper. Like, do you not think? Because, well, maybe what I was saying before, right? A man that lives on his his boundaries, his principles, his standards, whatever, right? But live on your own, your morals, right? Where you you call into women, right? You bending for women, isn't that like you bending on your Let's say, let's say, example, your principles, right? When yeah. you rather be uh, more direct with a woman that that's directly affecting your life, because let's say this: I want a traditional relationship, right? I want to be a leader in my relationship. You, you, you do too. So, I mean, of course, the will probably be more gentle, but I mean, still, in reality, when you be more, if you're a leader, you, wouldn't it be more logical to be more direct and more? To the point and less, less coddling. I think you get or less like uh, what is it? Uh, uh, walking on eggshells. I'm so I don't think you should ever have to. I don't think that's a good relationship if you're walking on eggshells. I agree with that absolutely. Um, however, I do think that, like, all right, there's degrees, and you get to know your partner, and you learn how you can talk to them. But you do always have to have their because that's someone you that's not just someone you work with. That's someone you look. It's a, it should be someone you love. So you should be less. So I feel like you should be less willing to kick them around. That's all I'm saying. Now, now you may you may you may have a relationship where you guys talk to each other a certain way, and they know that there's it's nothing meant by it, you know what I mean. But I'm gonna. But I don't want. I don't want to, I'm not going to be, a, I want to be the leader in my relationship, but I don't want to be a dictator and I don't want a slave. I want a partner and a friend. So how will you talk to your partner and friend? That's that. Now in certain relationships, maybe you can be very direct and they're not going to think anything of it. Right. But maybe you learn your partner and you know that you can't say, take the trash out or, 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 or 
take care of this now, you might have to, like I said, form, form it, phrase it in the form of a question. Could you take the trash out for me? That's not walking on eggshells. That's just no. talking right? But a woman should respect you enough to be willing to listen to you, right? Without giving you all kinds of flat. But you should love the woman you're with enough to treat her like more than just a coworker. You know what I mean? Like coworkers are, I like my coworkers. Coworkers aren't always friends, let alone intimate partners. So there's a, I'm just saying there's a different dynamic there. You still might have a relationship where you can be very direct with your partner, and that's fine. I'm not saying that that can't happen or that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying, uh, and it's not walk. I don't think it's walking on eggshells. I want to be more conscious of the, I want to care more about the feelings of the person I'm with than the person I work with. That's all. No. I I, I do see I I I see your point and I agree with it. Um. No, I, I agree with that. I, I see your point. Um, so right now we're at ten. We still a long way. What do you think? We've been going. We can do a little. We can, let's just try another clip before I gotta go, and then maybe we can. If, yeah. we, if you want, we can revisit that if there's more here for like the next. No, but there's a lot more. So I think okay. you know what? I mean, there's no real format to our to these podcasts, so we could continue these a couple episodes. Where this, it will be. It, it will be easier because we know what we're reacting to. You know, we, we know what, what conversations we'll be talking about. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we could do one more segment, which is, I guess, this is about 20 minutes, 20, 20, 30 minutes. So, yeah, we'll do that. And then I guess that'll be it. Okay. This, it's already running probably our longest. So, yeah. Okay. And then we'll just continue this next week. But let's go. I tell him you're gonna have to share them with three others. I'm just like, do my bang name. Huh? I want, I want a bang name. I'm cool. What's that? You would just say like, I want a bang name, pretty much. Say it's one more you time. You would just want to have a bang name. A like bang? you want an assistant bang, like fucking. You want to fuck someone that assists you. That's what? your, that's your partnership. I love how that's what the only piece. Well, that's what it seems like that. to me. Or you can explain it. Well, the thing is, I understand that as a man, I need to have the leverage, I need to be the leader, I need to be the dominant for her to actually respect me and want to be with me and submit to me. So knowing this, I have to have certain mannerisms and behaviors that stay congruent to that. So the thing that women are really good at detecting is incongruencies. If I perform myself to be a certain way, and then after a while she realizes this guy is kind of a pussy, blah, 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 that's going to make her get turned off even faster. Because now she sees, okay, this guy isn't for real. So. You got to be 10 toes down with females all the time. So you're doing it because you want her to feel like she's under you pretty much. So that's why you're giving it orders? What? Like, because you're above her, right? Well, you're the one giving that. direction. You're the leader, so she's above or under. Well, yeah. that's just how it is. I mean, if you're a leader, someone has to be a so well, to you. So it's not men, like you women, need an assistant. Men, it's men more and women like are you not just equal. need to make her feel like she is. No, it's for men, her to stay. So she thing. feels trapped, like she can't do anything else. No one's putting a gun to her head saying, hey, you have to stay with me. Yeah. She could choose to leave at any time. Okay. The thing is, is that... When you are that guy, she's not going to go anywhere because she knows that she could be replaced. Women right. typically get in line when you have other women in line. You'd be surprised at how being in your frame, women will go ahead and follow you. Do you think that sounds you. healthy? Or does Absolutely. it sound toxic? Well, they want to be in a relationship with them as a woman. I don't think most women they would like want to be that. Should just but, feel like a constant stress of being replaced. Do you guys want to be replaced? Like, feel like replacement is a thing in your relationships? Yeah, I get replaced. Yeah. Most women are not in an open relationship. That is absolutely not yeah. true. There's no stat that shows that most people are in an open relationship. Let me talk, bro, please. Most women are in open relationships. They just don't know it because he's stepping out. At least Myron is honest enough. Hold on. Is honest enough to say. I don't know. So she's cheating. Hold on. Can you let me talk? Can I freaking say a word? Sheba. Like, honest enough to say, hey, you're going to be one of three. Yes or no? And they're going to say yes because they know what type of value he is, what type of man he comes to the table with. He's being present, providing, protecting. Here's the thing. You're Most just, women are going to leave. I mean, let me ask the audience a question. Listen, no. Which is the audience a question? Listen, we're absolutely not going to be in Alina, Adam. I might break castle you at this point. <laughs> I might do it. Really? You can, you can talk when you're talking, but when I'm going to talk and ask the question to our awesome audience here is when you go on mute. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for yourself real quick. Uh, 
Show of hands if you're married in the audience. Show of hands. Okay, very few. Okay. <laughs> we, got, we got cameras on the audience. Uh, show of hands if you're currently in a relationship. Okay. Stupid. So half the audience. <laughs> show of hands if you're single. Okay. Oh. Stupid. Now, don't the not go for all the single dudes out there. Raise your hand if you want a girlfriend or a wife or a girl in your life. Show of hands. Okay, so the most of you want a girl in your life. Show of hands if you want to do the Myron approach and have multiple wives. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. How realistic is it for these guys to actually have multiple wives? I mean, to have multiple girls is very difficult. Um, but again, if you're on your purpose and you got your shit together and you're that guy, women will share you. And they won't feel like they're being entrapped or they're being held or whatever because – they know, okay, if I'm not – and here's another reason, too, why I'm – I want to know your initial thoughts on that. Do you think – I mean, in your personal opinion, I mean, let's say – I want to do this, right? I want to do this. In a perfect world, mm -hmm. perfect world, right? And no, you are allowed to do it. No back, no, no backlash, no nothing bad happens to you. Mm -hmm. If you could, mm -hmm. would you – and the government allows it, women will allow it, you can have more than one wife, would you? There's no backlash, nothing bad. I'm not saying anything bad. No I, woman will hate you, no nothing. I hear you. I you hear you. Would you do it? This has honestly been the way, my my thinking, my whole life. And yes, I was raised religiously, but like, I don't even think that's why. I feel like I feel like have it so if I I define marriage as a partnership, then I think that means it's monogamous. It's one person. And I feel like trying to lead or manage more than that is too much. Like I, I'm doing enough to keep my life together as a single man, right? If I if I if I get into a relationship, if I get married, I want my partner to be a help to me, right? And I'm gonna be a help to them. But I feel like once, once, this is me, once I've got two, it's not a partnership, it's, I'm a manager. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I wouldn't consider myself, like there are people who consider themselves polygamous. Yeah. Not me. Not me. I just want one. I just want one. Honestly. Now, now, like, like a lot of single guys, I mean, if you really get down to it, do you if you if they ask do you want to have sex with multiple women? No, I mean, I, I'm I'm thinking about sex. I'm not talking about sex because right. I mean if you're aligning well, your okay, okay, let's let's say this, right? Before i before I say something more, how about in your idea, would you okay? In a hyper, I'm, I'm saying everything perfect, right? Mm -hmm. If you, and this is not going to be against your character. I'm not trying to, you know. No, I hear you. I, no, I hear so you. in a perfect world, if you can't have sex with multiple women and marry one woman, oh, would you do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I, I just want to see, I want to gauge the your mindset. And I'm not, again, I know you are a, a terrible, I mean, amazing principal Moral man, so I'm not. This is not against you. I'm just saying, let's say a perfect world. There's no backlash, no nothing bad, right? God wouldn't punish you. Shit like I'm saying, like shit like that, right? But you're Would saying you my, my wife wouldn't be up. She'll be fine with you. Said, go ahead. I love you, Addison. I don't care. I, I, that's what I'm. I just want to gauge your mind uh, because this is what I'm saying. Like, let's see what average men are like. Yeah, let, that's it. Yeah, man. So. Oh, so all right, so I'm up to, I'm on two minds of that because there's a there's, no I, I I know I'm making a com it's a yes no question but <laughs> there's like an animalistic <laughs> that we all have to just have sex or whatever. <laughs> I want to have sex all the time I do but also 
I wouldn't feel right about having. I, I I mean, I know you said even if there weren't, there were no repercussions. There were no. Yeah. I mean, even in your even in your yourself, right? You wouldn't feel bad because there's nothing to make you feel bad about, right? But that's but that's what I would. I guess I would feel bad about. Like once you, like I wouldn't want to be in a. I wouldn't want to be in an open relationship. Because, because, and, and, and I'm not even speaking morally, but I just feel like once it's, it's my person, I'm not saying anybody else has to feel this way, but once you've decided to be in a committed relationship, I just believe that all of that belongs between you and your, your mate, your one mate. That's, 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 that's just, that's just my thought on the matter. Now I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say, I wouldn't want to just have sex with everybody. <laughs> Of, of course I would, but there's some intimate about sex with your partner. You know what I mean? Like your committed partner. And it, if when you're having sex with multiple people, I guess it's just sex. Whereas if you're having sex with someone you love, it's like, it's intimate. It's a, that's cheesy, but it's a real, there's a connection there. And it's not really a connection, you know, with, just someone, you know, just anyone. It's just a thrill ride, which is cool. I like roller coasters, but that's just my opinion because I am no. monogamous. But. Let's say this, right? Man, I'm trying, I was trying to gauge what kind of type of man you are, but you are who I thought you are. Yeah. And I can tell you this uh -huh. I 100% agree with you, mm -hmm. right? I'm just like that too. But I have a maybe, like, let's say this, right? It is, I think more is not about our morals and our, what our principles, like I said, in a perfect world. I think it's our personalities, right? Let's, I, here's how, how, how I view it. I would only, I mean, I would just want to be with one woman too. In a sense that for me, getting with one, and it's my, if, if this falls more in line with my type of personality, right? Mm -hmm. Getting with one woman is already hard to begin with. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. the is the worst thing ever for men. Okay, uh, charm being charming. I'm not charming. I'm not funny. I'm. Not, I, I mean, like yes, for me, awesome. like okay, getting with another woman. Like I could, I sh maybe I should have said like, oh, what if women actively seek you out? Maybe that would be. What do you think? I'm just saying, like, what if women actively seek you out? You didn't have to even put any effort. Women are falling for you. We so, still go for it. so if that were the only thing I wanted, I wouldn't have to get in a committed relationship. And so, like, it, the benefit, like, it's kind of like tied to the the point and the benefit of being in a committed relationship. The good part of it is that you have somebody that you want to share that with. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Uh, then, yeah, I agree because it's like, like I said, the dating scene. Even in a perfect world, right? If women are falling for me, right? I would say it's still, I agree with you. Uh, for me, sex is not just sex. Sex is an emotional thing. Uh, I'm no, and again, I think it falls with our personality, right? I'm not no, I'm not no porn star, right? <laughs> uh, I, so I'm not like, I'm not amazing in the sack. So really for me to think, and that's why I don't think, I, I'm never like into Hook, I mean, one night stands because you know, I don't think a woman will benefit from it, really. <laughs> no, so really, I, I'm more special, but the emotional connection I've had girlfriends, you know, feel better because of it because you know, because the emotional connection with me. So it's like that's the thing where, and I take joy from that, right? For a woman that wants to be with me and actually enjoys being with me, that's I, I love that too. So that's the thing where. I can't do one night stands because it, I know that again, I'm no one special. Uh, that's why I have my view because it fits with me. Uh, again, uh, having, you know, the Myron is who he is, but you know, he looks who he, he looks right. He's a certain type of person who looks right. I'm who I am. I, my life is who it is. Right. Uh, I'm not a player. Never was. I don't even know that lifestyle. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to do that stuff. So really, the dating market is a hassle. So getting enough, more women is like that's that seems like a pain, 
Yeah, it doesn't seem like fun at all. Right? <laughs> and even in a hypo, uh, you know, even in an amazing world where women come after me, it just, it also like, it don't seem like a great benefit because I don't think I will perform well anyway in those in those scenarios. So really, it's like I don't I don't see that as a benefit, you know, as something amazing. Uh, so I wouldn't enjoy that anyway. And yeah, I I feel like I enjoy sex more when there's more there's intimacy with it. There's feelings connected with it. So yeah, I and this is why I, this is why you're like one of my best friends. Where mm-hmm. I feel like we connect like that. Where we where we're just exactly the same in that sense. Where I yeah. like I said before, we're practically the same, just you know, different skin tone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I was like, that's the thing where I, I agree with that. It's like I I cannot and this is why I think where where I said like, you know, high there are percent there's just different types of men out there, right? And he falls in the type of men where, yeah, he's high value, you know, he he likes going with multiple women and that's whatever. There's a type, I guess, a certain type of men like that, where I'm not looking to become a millionaire, right? I don't think that's a an aspiration. I want. I want to be the best version I can be, right? Make as much as I can, but you know, it's not an end all to be all to be the next millionaire. Yeah. So, I don't know. Some men. That's that's what my thing is. Where where the average men, where it is a hassle for average men to find, you know, women. So really, I treasure. I will treasure the woman that I do find, and I want the the emotional connection that I you know would have from a monogamous relationship. That's why I said I'm more monogamous, and, and you know, than wanting to play the field. I'm not into that, you know. And that's why that's uh, our type of men are not desired like that. While his type of man is, right? That's just how it is. And that's the world we live in. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool. In multiple women is so important. People only behave, right? Okay, so respect and necessary ingredient for respect is fear. So for respect to exist, fear must come first. And women have to fear, not you physically, but fear you leaving her. Mm-hmm. And that fear is stimulated by other women being around that can take her place at any time. You look at someone like a Dan Blazer, you look at a Playboy like Hugh Hefner, you look at the Tate brothers, right? They have a bunch of women around. And unfortunately for women, and this is one of the unflattering things about female nature, women operate the best when they know that they can be replaced and women are super attracted to pre-selection. This isn't even mm-hmm. my opinion, this is a biological fact. They've done this with chimpanzees, which are the closest to human beings. When they had one male chimp, and no bitches, he got no bitches. When he had two female chips with him, the other female chips came to him. So women would prefer to share a higher status man, primate, whatever you want to call it, than have a loser all to herself. Most girls will say, I'd rather be single than settle down with a regular guy. And I would argue that social media, dating apps, etc., has heightened this to another degree. But go ahead. Oh, I wasn't saying it. No, 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 because I know you're trying to say something before. Wives. Right. No, but I, I guess there's a re, there's a purpose for it, like being able yeah. to have multiple women. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, I don't think there's any stats out there that's saying that the open relationship one-sided and the marriages are the ones that's, that last the longest. I don't think that's, but I don't think is, that's true. But there's a multitude of data that demonstrates that women are hardwired to be attracted to men that are pre-selected. I think women are attracted to people that are passionate. No, there you are, are, sweetie. That's for you. <laughs> and I think it's totally no, 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 cool let's, let's go with that. Yeah, they're attracted to men that are passionate, but you're missing. You agree with that. Yeah, yeah. but see, but again, more women passionate. end at 10. They don't go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That guy can be passionate, fantastic, if he's tall, if he's charming. He has some money together. Right. He's in shape. He's good looking. He, he has, has a nice money. smile. He's funny. His, his mom, uh, her mom likes him. Like, all these things need to be checked, and women always forget, like, how many check boxes they really have. You don't give a shit about his passion or his personality or his charm unless he meets certain prerequisites first. That's correct. Go ahead. I was going to say, I mean, the way that you're, you're, you're painting this picture about him, of that he's holding a gun to these girls' head and, and forcing them to do this, but they don't want to do it. I mean, I think you really have to understand the reality is if they didn't want to be there, they wouldn't. That's so, not really how it works. Like you can it, manipulate and say things to make people feel like they want to stay. Yeah, have you ever heard of cycle of abuse? Uh, yeah. Have you ever heard of cycle of abuse? Uh, I mean, I'm going to finish your point. Go ahead. Listen, listening to you talk thus far, I think you're delusional. But <laughs> I mean, tell me why. I, why? She's I going, mean, she's going to. 
you're, I mean, you're, you're, you're telling him how his girlfriends think when, if you don't know them and you don't know the relationship, I mean, weren't you just annoyed that they were trying to tell you about your relationship or you were arguing well, with I'm him? Well, I'm not telling you. I'm asking him questions so, so I can understand what he's saying. That's right. right. And, and he's, he's telling speaking. you. I'm not arguing against telling you. And yeah. then you keep countering back. Well, I'm, I don't think because I don't think that the things that he's saying applies to everyone. I don't think it does. And, then and then I don't think you can it, say that either. Maybe it doesn't apply to you, but yeah, it works you for him. I know it works for him. Yeah, yeah, he does whatever he wants. One thing I hate, this is why I hate listening to women. I'm sorry. I'm. It's like they, like, even, okay, I'm not saying we necessarily don't talk over each other, but I mean, one of us is usually just take a step back when mm -hmm. we're talking because it's yeah. a show of respect. Exactly. We, men naturally have respect for each other, so it's like okay, we are trying. We we are talking to each other, over each other, but then you know what? One of us takes a step back, let the other one continue. Right. Women are just like <laughs> it's, it's like I don't hear nothing. I'm just hearing like it's just a hearing lot it. of like oh my god. This is why I, technically right. Let's say this: if the future we have a million subscribers, which who knows, probably okay. won't. But I'm saying like I cannot. I don't see the benefit. Of let's say having a panel of women along with us talking, <laughs> I just like it is so, and I've seen so many of them already. It's to get clean audio, like it is, yes, and it's just, it's not a good conversation. It's just like bickering, and it's just like literally women will bite each other heads off, and it's just like, oh, I, I can't deal with it. <laughs> ah, it's just like. <sighs> Saying that. I literally want to skip this part. I'm talking about like, just, like everyone this way is not it's not reality. But it's not I mean, a lot of people. On, 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 there are some on, on, that it's not like the best advice that you can give out there. There are other advice. Like if he says like you are charming, those sort of things maybe you're like you don't understand that the world operates. Go ahead, Myron. Look at him, yo. Because a lot of women have a point of contention with the way that I do things. And, and you got to understand, like, my dating practices and how I move with women, there's typically, like, some type of logical or statistical reason why I do what I do. And the reason why I have multiple women is because it's a fact that women are attracted to pre-selection, and it just works that way. You know what I mean? And there's a bunch of other benefits as well, but it keeps the women aroused, which I think is a very important component. I think, um, I think it can work for some people, but I don't think it works for normal people. I mean, if you're, you have to be able to support all those women. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't think, think that many people are getting butt by the idea of their men cheating on them. I don't think so. I think most. But it doesn't, of them it doesn't refute the fact that women. Well, your man cheats on you. Are you talking about men that are? I don't think most of them. Yeah, but I'm a special one. <laughs> I get turned on. I, I am actually, I am actually a cuck. So, so I do get turned on by this, okay. but I know that most people gotcha. don't. So I'm speaking for those people. Uh, speaking of, uh, you know, the, the the famous phrase, and wait, you know how I'm going to dispute it, right? And which. This is where I think where I take it, where we give uh, an average man's view, right? I would dispute it, where she's a lie. Women do. Women do like men with multiple women. Imagine this, right? Women love the charmers, the players, the bad boys, uh, the men that are talk to women easily. And I've said it in, few, in past things, right? What type of men are those? Uh... Those are the type of men that dealt with a lot of women, right? They've been with a lot of women. Women do not go for virgins. They don't. They don't go for men that have little to no experience with women. They don't. They're not attract. I mean, no, I'm not saying that women love cheaters per se, but why do you think you hear so many stories why women go back to cheaters or they pick men that have cheated in the past? Like you're not necessarily yes, women don't necessarily want in the moment the man is going to another woman, having sex with her, coming back to you, telling you he's doing. I mean, yes, no logical sane woman is like, oh, I'm loving that. No, but it's the results, the the past, the the things your your actions you make, right? Women choose players, women choose bad boys, women choose athletes, and I'm I've said it before, right? These are you know, um, predisposition men that would, I'm not saying they, they are cheaters. I'm saying that they're a high percent of them dealing with multiple women or just cheating or have cheated, stuff like that, where that's what I'm saying, where these are the type of men that women love dealing with, right? 
you why let's say in a situation where why do women would love Myron over let's say us? Well, because he's the type of man that has resources, plus he has maybe the charm, he has the looks, stuff like that. Well, he's the type of man that would deal with multiple women. Well, like we were just saying with me and you, we're not. But we're not we're not having women knocking on our door, you know, dying to just be with us. Because one, we are better within the relationship than at the start of trying to get into a relationship. Because we're not the charmers, we're not the funny guys, we're not known how to be smooth and whatever, right? But those type of men are the men that deals with a lot of women. And if you dealt with a lot of women, there's a high, um, again, there's no, I'm not saying 100% certainty, but there's a higher chance that you probably cheated. You probably, you know, mess around with multiple women at once. Well, yeah. So really, that's a, she is deluded and thinking, oh, women don't like cheaters. Well, if you look at these results, these, you know, things that happen in the real world with average people, then it will be like they like the men that have cheated, that can cheat, that do cheat. I, but, but I, I do hear what she's saying when she says, when she says normal women, because we did mention that they're not necessarily, they're not middle class. They're not mo most of the women you would see every day, right? And I don't think that, like, there are some, there are some, like, if a guy has dealt with multiple women, um, well, he's learned something from dealing with women that helped him get better at dealing with women. And in turn, the better he gets at dealing with women, the warm women he has access to. But say, like, what Myron sort of described, the way he keeps women around and aroused or whatever, that might be good for his lifestyle. That's a certain type of lifestyle. Uh, but it's not good. I don't think it would be good for a long-term relationship with a committed partner. No, I, I agree. I, I, that's not... I, so that's so not I guess a... it depends on what your, your goal is. It doesn't sound like that's his his goal anyway no. that's not what he's after so that's fine and maybe there's a lot of women who would like the adventure of you know of that but i don't know how many women in a but you got looking for because there are a lot of women who are looking for a committed relationship with one person but, i mean okay you got to take into let's let's like let's go back and like analyze certain things right like i said high divorce rate uh, women are the ones who are filing divorces at a high rate. Uh, there's articles and studies done that women get bored in mo monogamous long-term relationships. So, and let's say this. It's the difference where me, me and you, <laughs> we're born in the wrong century. You know? <laughs> that's the thing. Where That's what I'm saying. Where we may forget what how modern women are. Okay? I mean... This is the thing where, where we I'm seeing the results now. We're seeing the results now, right? I think women and I'm sorry, it's the fault of women. The sexual liberation, feminism, all this crap, modern women uh, making money, ha be, women being successful as they are, great for them, but it's destroying, right? Um, the, the dating landscape. It's destroying the landscape where you know what? Women are so free, right? They're so their life is so amazing. Them. They're bored of it. So, even, although our views are nice, you know, proper and shit, whatever that. But again, we are the. This, this is why. This is why I make my content. Because, and I've heard so many stories. I do. I please check it out. I do Reddit reactions where these are stories of average men talking about their life being destroyed. Through women cheating on them, asking for open marriages, women asking for open marriages, uh, women uh, divorcing them, all that stuff is that. I this is where I think there's an epidemic. Men like us are going to suffer because of women, how women have changed. And 
something that Myron has always said, right, is that he has changed because of the dating landscape, right? How he does it now is his view, right, because the, the landscape has changed. Women don't want monogamous relationships anymore, right? Well, in a sense, right? They, they, they want a man that focused providing on them, but they, they want, you know, such a weird relationship, you know? This is the thing where that's why, like, he, his view is, like, he's trying, he's adapting to how modern women are. And I feel like, although I don't, I can't do it. Right, I'm me and you. We're not going to adapt to that because that's not just it's not us. It's not in our our genes to do that. But it's like I'm looking at it is like, is that how things will turn? Is that how the landscape is turning? Because again, uh, women are choosing terrible men. I mean, you. I've said it before, the epidemic, the the you know, uh, single single mother culture is it, it's rising. Right, it's an epidemic. So all these single mothers, well, they choose terrible men. They gave children to men that, let's say, for example, maybe those are cheater men. Well, you chose a cheater. You chose a man that, you know, didn't have the morals, didn't have the views of monogamy. Well, you, I mean, I'm not saying you love cheaters, but you you chose to have a child with a man that would cheat. So, you know, that's the, again, it's um, it's supporting his view. But kind of not because yeah, they're not loving cheaters, but they they chose a cheater. So it's like such a counterintuitive thought, right? That's what I'm saying, like sexual freedom, all the mo you know, modernization of women and all this stuff has, I think, destroyed women. And they are destroying themselves in turn too. So I don't know. <laughs> Boom. Uh, well, let's let's finish out a little bit of it, okay. and let's see if we have any because it's almost done, or at least this this part is almost done, and we'll probably continue this. This part would be a three parter. <laughs> how, this, <laughs> like how we're giving our views too, so yeah. it's be forever. But I don't know, it'd be something. Men lead, women follow. Yeah, right. Um, is that irrational male? Yeah. Okay, shout out to uh, ladies, real quickly. Do you want to lead the relationship or do you want your man to lead the relationship? Let's start with you up there. Definitely lead. You want to lead? No, I, I want my man to lead. You want your I man to lead? Really okay. What about you? I want a man to lead. Okay. Gigi? Definitely a man to lead. Definitely a man. Uh, in the relationship, both. In bed, I'll have him lead. Okay. <laughs> what? So in the relationship, who, who has to... I don't, I don't think... I mean, Who's driving the car in the relationship? <laughs> Who's in the navigator we'll seat? Turns. Ooh. Okay. All right. Buyer beware. Uh, Buy <laughs> Kato? The man. The man should lead. Okay. <laughs> Alina? Both. Different ways. Both. Different ways. How about you? Man should lead. The man should lead? Yeah. Maria? The man should lead, but emotionally, the woman. Okay. They kind of do caveats. The man? Can we, can we make sure her mic's on? <laughs> Janelle? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Yeah. Who should it's lead? on? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, obviously the man. But this notion, this like masculine, like attacking Myron and like saying that just because you want a passionate, I know the stats, the number one. I want to. Lead with him? No, you lead him. How many of you want to lead a man in a relationship? Let's see if anyone raised their hand. Oh, no, thanks. Anybody? It's too much emotional. No? Emotion. Okay, on the couch? <laughs> Anybody raise their hand? Nobody. Mm, see. Okay. You know, I mean, that indirectly tells me that you want a man who's going to be a leader. For him to be a leader, he has to be better than you. Or you both lead, right? How does that work? Like you support each other. Whenever you go through a hard time, you're supporting each other, pushing each other. But can we over. agree men are human and they lack sometimes? Can we agree with on that? And, and they what? You could support they each other. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You can support each other while one yeah. leads and one yeah. takes those. I like I the mean, partnerships that way. You're working mind. together. Yeah. Let's, let's continue down the couch because I want to get everyone to miss so every girl's response. But that's one of the biggest lines ever. Uh, yeah, man's going to generally lead, but again, it is a relationship, so there are things that women can see that a man can't, and a woman pushes a man to do things. Such as? And such as maybe a woman can see someone's instincts that the man can't see. Um, yeah. There's a lot of emotional things that women can do, and that's why relationships, like if you were to ask a man that's been married for 50 years old, he's going to say, my, my partner has done a lot, then 
than what you guys are saying. I actually agree with that. Yeah, yeah, she could help out, but she's not in a leadership role. I mean, yeah, she's assisting, which I was saying before. Fair. Okay, next. Uh, I definitely want my man to lead, and I want Alpha, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I would want my man to lead. Retweet. <laughs> my man to lead and part of the reason that I'm my best self is because I've had a man to lead me and help me learn things and just be a better person. W. I mean, I would uh, want this my might man be... To lead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, what were you going to say? No, I think that's the end of that part. Uh, All right. uh, any final thought? How about, uh, I'll let you have the final thoughts. Okay. Um, I mean, as far as that clip, like we talked about a little bit, I, I, I agree that most women want a man who, who can lead. Um, they want a man to lead. Um, and if they're good decision makers, they pick a man who can lead, who's responsible. Um, but yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, I think some of the pushback like Myron's getting is because, and again, delivery, and we talk about that too. <laughs> Sometimes when he says it, it sounds like he's saying it, it, it sounds like master and slave or like ball. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why uh, you, know, you get people like, no, 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 I don't want that. Like, isn't it? Can't we both leave? But but because every relationship should be a partnership. And in a partnership, you still have someone, like he said, driving a car. So somebody has to, you know, be the wingman or a person. So so yeah, you have to have a a leader, I think, in the relationship or most relationships, and usually it's usually the, like they, all those women want it to be the man. Usually, it should be the man, but um, that doesn't mean anybody's a slave. It's it's a beneficial relationship for two. Uh, sometimes that delivery is like <laughs> he's, he's just he's just serving them up. He's like he's not no sugarcoat anything. I kind of think that's a good thing, but I don't know. We could talk about that more next time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, this is gonna be. This is a. I, I'm seeing this is gonna be a long series, cool, right? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, this is fine. I mean, you know, it gives us ideas, topics to talk about during our podcast, which is which is fine. Uh, this is we've only gotten like, I don't know, like forty minutes. Like into that, an <laughs> it's already two hours, so it's crazy. That's so crazy. I can see this is gonna be long, but um, yeah, please check it out. Please, you know, like, subscribe, comment, you know, put your thoughts out. What do you thought of it? Um, I mean, if you guys, you guys don't really comment a lot, so but if you guys comment, you don't want to see the next one, whatever, that'd be fine too. But but if things go. According to plan, that's what that's going to be the next episode, the continuation to this, okay. maybe the next couple episodes. So because this will give us a, a immense amount of topics to talk about. So yeah, um, yeah, please subscribe, please like. Uh, other than that, later, guys. <laughs>